I think Brad should spill the beans. Spill what beans? You know what I'm talking about. about. I'll spill the beans out of my vessel. (laughs) The semen. So you know they're all wondering the elephant in the room. They they know we haven't been filming lately. You want to give anybody an update on how you're doing? Or uh, yeah, I was uh, I went off my insulin and didn't realize it would be such a shock to the system. So I experienced a whole bunch of side effects. I cut my carbs, but I just did it because in this phase I'm doing now, it's not necessary. Yeah, cut, that- cut out the one thing that you actually fucking need, right? Why don't you cut out all that other shit? Well, you're right to a point, but uh, I've noticed my blood sugar readings faster are just the same as this when they were on, although I'm eating quite, quite less carbohydrates right now. Uh, but, you know, you get heart, it feels like your heart splutters. You get the hots and the colds where you'll be cold one time and then real hot and sweaty and then you uh get fluctuations and energy levels it's very bizarre uh how how many days have you been off of it about 10 days since last saturday okay so it's uh andrew just andrew just texted in he says he's not getting just tell him to click the link on the text because that's what i did and it went right through i I emailed him again he should get it you're not referring to Prince Andrew, are you? No, the Meow Man. Oh. Why are you giggling like a little fucking girl? I smile. That's not a giggle. <laughs> You're laugh giggling, though, you prick. I'm smiling. Because it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. I th- heard rumors that you didn't want to be filmed anymore. And Who said that? You're breaking up the misfits. All, all these. Who said, who said that? Oh, let me guess who. Let me guess they, who said that stupid shit. <laughs> they. So it's actually good to see you after all this time. Thanks. Hello, meow man. Gentlemen, Bob Swags. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, Bob Swags. You should call me Brad Swigs. Brad Swigs. <laughs> uh, that's that's funny. One of my friends at the, my best friend at the time, his father said that to me once because I was known as like a, a drinker when we were younger, and he's like, "Why don't they call you Bobby Swigs?" <laughs> <laughs> so what's new down there? Anything? Hey, where's the fucking army vest at, man? You want me to put it on? <laughs> what do they call that? The Blaha vest? Who gave yeah, I call it the Jason Blaha vest. <laughs> so, Leonard, you feel like you're going to be ready to get back into it soon? Or? Yeah, I'm going to go out tomorrow and try to do legs. Uh, I don't know if I should bring an insulin syringe with me loaded or, or what. 911 on speed dial. I figure if. I'm with anybody. I'll let them know. Just tell the paramedics. <laughs> Why? What's going on with your blood sugar? Well, I went off the insulin about 10 days ago simply because that my gut was getting so stretched out at the bottom when I was throwing punches. I pulled something there from that flap that was flying around. And sure enough, 10 days off the insulin, it's pretty much gone. I mean, his stomach's still protruding hard. You know what You know what they call that on a woman? A fupa. Fat yeah. upper pussy area. When <laughs> <laughs> he's got a fupa. <laughs> well, not anymore. How about Wait, so, um, your shins clear up too now or no? Well, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, please. Thank God I already ate. You see it? <laughs> Oh, yeah, great picture at the bottom of the fucking chair. Yeah, I don't see see anything. See it? Yeah, we see it. That's a look. We don't want to see it. We just see the chair. Yeah, I can't Uh, see anything. Yeah, it looks worse than ever, but seems like the skin just falling right off it. I don't get it. You don't get it. It's called poor circulation. Fuck, don't you get it? You know what's going to happen? Who's that? Who's the black bodybuilder with the pig nose that lost his leg? 
Wheeler. Yeah. You're going to be joining him pretty fucking soon. He had a different, he had a different problem. Uh, well, my left leg's not like that, and there's no swelling there anymore. So I'm just trying to get used to the effects. I, I want my body, my pancreas, to start producing more insulin. You know, I cut my carbs significantly, of course. But the side effects from going off insulin, I've been on it, hell, probably four or five years every day. They're pretty, pretty strange. Uh, Did you taper off or you just went off cold turkey? Cold turkey. Uh, I think that's going to get the signaling to the, to the beta cells to, hey, there's no insulin coming out anymore and start producing it because I don't see any reason why I couldn't produce it. Just like any other part of the body. I mean, my, my, my pancreas is dead. So I, uh, I get like heart fl- flutters and sometimes a couple hours after a meal, I'll just be totally spaced out. It's not anxiety or anything. It's uh, heart failure. No, no, no. It's that's getting better. No, I remember um, 2005 where I, I did that brief stint where I was going to do the off season stack with the growth and insulin, and mm-hmm. I was training clients at LA Fitness, and I thought I had the carb ratios down pat. So I trained, I drank the Gatorade powder with the whey, and all of a sudden I was training a client that planned on having a whole food meal. Like an hour later, I started getting lightheaded and dizzy. I had to run and get a smoothie from the smoothie shop over there. And, and then that hurricane came and I just, I didn't have the money. So I ended up aborting the whole cycle anyway, just doing the basic. So, but I didn't like it. It was too, I don't know. Well, you went, you went hypo. Yeah, it was hypo. You, you, I thought you I, had, you know, I took it enough carbs, I thought, but I was doing the fast acting insulin post-workout mm-hmm. and apparently I did something wrong, but. That's, yeah, that's hypo, yeah. hypoglycemic or whatever. Is that what they call it? Yeah, yeah. low blood sugar. Mm-hmm. Well, mine now t- should be hyper where the blood sugar is too high. Who told you all this? Or did you just research all this shit on your own? Well, I've known that for years. I know hypo and hyper, but... No, what uh, you're doing now, your new protocol, what made you start... Did well, somebody recommend because, you do this shit or what? Because, you know, like I said, that thing coming out of the middle of bottom and lower abdomen at FUPA or whatever you say now uh, <laughs> I pulled it I pulled something there a muscle and it was from flapping around when I'm trying to throw punches I'm like what the hell so sure enough it went away yeah but that happened that happened a couple of years ago to you too it I did. I remember I remember like, well I was doing heavy insulin at the time so I figured that's where it, it was coming from it so was, that's it, what, so that, what you got what it was, is I had to I was getting traceba insulin it was a preloaded Red eject insulin pen it was 24 hours. I was getting it free, and my source wasn't able to obtain that for me anymore. So, the uh, I had to go get Novlin R, the Walmart type, the medium acting, and that's what that's what caused it. I was doing fine on the Traceba, but you know how much that is out of pocket? Hundreds and probably almost a thousand bucks a month. That's ridiculous. So, and that was working like gold. I may have, to, I may, if I go on again, I may check in Atlantis, but I figured, hell, I don't need it now. I'm in a phase where I'm trying to get an explosive power and endurance, yet still maintain some type of muscle. And I was going off GH. They didn't need the water retention right now and figured it's a good time to go off the insulin. Uh, of course, in the future, what I would do is if I bulk for a show like next January, oh, I would for try, fuck's to, sake. try to take Traceba long acting 24 hour and supplement that pre and post workout with a Umalog fast acting, which I ran in trouble with that too. Me and me and Aladdin did that down in Miami. We both almost hit the deck. He, he made so much, you know, he has a lot of sugar there. We were dumping in soda syrup because he had a soda making machine. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking Gatorade, that was scary. And that happened, you know, one time I would, when I was at uh, Planet Fitness, I was getting breaking on cold sweats and wanted to pass out and not even wanted to move. That's the thing. When you get into that hypoglycemia, as Andrew would tell you, you don't want to move. You want to lie down and take a nap because you feel so weak and disoriented. I wouldn't even be cognizant of the fact to go get the uh, Tootsie Rolls, luckily, which I used to make fun of which were at a table by the front desk and eat about 20 of them. And I immediately felt better in about five minutes. But, you know, someone in the medical field spoke to her 
employer is a doctor. And he said, you, once you start insulin like that, you can't go off for life. <clears throat> well, that same, that same person can't get you the good stuff, huh? Well, that was just office samples. Well, okay. that and a lot of these uh, drug reps aren't giving out samples anymore. What about uh, metformin? You ever try that? Yes, I tried it. It's horrible. You get the runs from it. It kills your B12. Dan Duchesne says it would pump you up more than anything, but from what I'm reading about now, it's like the last thing anyone would want to take. Yeah. Although they say it's good for longevity and health. I don't see it when it's when you're shitting your brains out and taking your yeah. B12. Or nothing. That guy that uh, Palumbo's had on, Jay Campbell, that he's got a, a YouTube channel. He recommends it just for anybody to take as for longevity because it activates AMPK. But I've heard of people getting the runs from it. I would, yeah, it's going to oh, wreck your terrible. stomach. But what about uh, did you get your blood work from Wellington? What did it say? The last last blood was, work you got? <laughs> My blood sugar was three thirty. Fasting or not? No, I was after I ate, but fasting. Not good, yeah. Well, fasting this weekend, I had it at 185, so I figured, what the hell? Holy That's the same shit. thing as when I was using the insulin, so what's the damn difference? But I yeah. am feeling a little, so I'm very thirsty now again. So I just figure the water is going to take out the blood sugar, the excess, and I figure my pancreas is going to get the message, and I'll slowly introduce more carbs. So obviously, you need them in my energy levels horrible but got to get back on program you get knocked down you got to get back up so you haven't left the house in 10 days i went shopping a few times but going on the bike man just biking it back and forth my entire thigh from my hips my knees my ankles my feet were so sore it was unbelievable so what the hell is going on so and i'm looking at myself yeah i'm atrophying a lot i just hope i don't get really waste away too much because that's the number one side effect if i start losing all kind of muscle i'll be like Tch. maybe i'll try to get on some lantus or something that's relatively inexpensive but your to me was the best it's good stuff well Shoot it mr. Today. i'm gonna call it mr g is gonna see this when rob posts it and, and then they're gonna talk about it on the whack pack and he's gonna call the fight off again <laughs> I thought the fight was off anyway. I thought it was on. I don't know. Is it on? It's not off with me. It hasn't been off with me since day when I said what I said. Uh, it's almost, you know, to the point of he's white trash. Uh, can't speak correctly. He looks like he's drunk. Yeah, he has, he has pro problems forming sentences. That's for fucking sure. He's yeah, always, jump he's he's always jumbling words. You are doing it, UFC. This is UFC. It's MN. Why do you have to say UFC? UFC is not sponsoring. You guys don't fight for the fucking UFC. I know he's saying, but it's annoying. Just say MMA style, what the fuck ever, which is, it's never going to happen anyway. Yeah, and some of, some of his cohorts on that show, it's almost an embarrassment. Their brains are fried. No, nah, they're just hyping. They're just feeding into the bullshit. I think they know he's... No, they're showing general. They the show know in general, he's it's out just, there, uh, man. They're just fucking humoring them, and they're all goof. They all laugh and goof on the whole fucking thing. They know it's not. They, please. What do you think, Rob? You think uh, any advice for Lenny? Well, about the the whack pack and the RX muscle guys. I mean, I don't want to say anything, you know, without saying it to them on a podcast or whatever. But uh, one of them is, you know. Starting to you don't want to you don't want to say anything that you're going to apologize for later. <laughs> well, no, that's not that. I guess so, but it's I'm more. Kidding, than, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'd rather say it the first time to the person. But uh, I, one thing I will say though is how the last week they were all talking as if we use them for exposure on that podcast. When it's the <laughs> other way around, if you ask me, you know, I think anything that has Lenny's name on it. <sighs> Of uh, course, nobody knew. Nobody knew who the fuck Mr. G was before Mr. this. Mr. G nonsense. walked around in an expo like Phyllis Diller with his feather boas <laughs> and a gown on. I don't think anybody would give two shits. That's what he doesn't like. He's an insecure man. He's delusional. Well, you met him. You guys met him in person. How was he in person? Uh, uh, what, go ahead, Lenny. Nice guy. I like him. Fun to hang around with. There you go. Everybody's different in person. A little trip going over there as a cookie cutter. Say, 
it was a bunch of Orthodox Jews almost, lawyers, Where? Where? physical specimens that were unbelievably at the low end of the genetic totem pole. It was out in Boca. I think it was like we, the Boca Grove or one of those places. <laughs> So right oh, on the, by the, by the turn, over there by the turnpike and glades. I think. Yeah, right on his by his swimming pool. The lawyer. Okay, I know. Training, Mr. G was training for twenty years, and <laughs> holy cow! Put it this way: Meow Man knows Eric Wasser. Eric Wasser looks like Nick Walker <laughs> compared to this guy. Eric Wasser. <laughs> and Ooh, uh, something I said. Yeah, oh my God, that type. Worse. Watch worse. So we go in, there's this guy wearing those black hats with a white shirt and a tie. What, the, half a, the little half a hat? Yeah, and those little braids uh, coming out it's of It's called a yarmulke, Lenny. Sitting in a, no, it's not a yarmulke, it was one of those. No, yeah, it was different. It was oh, almost like a top hat. hat. Yeah. Oh. And he had these braids fur. coming out of his head, and he's sitting at the head of the table. Shut the, the fuck head. up. 120 hat. pounds soaking wet. How are you? And I'm like, good. And what did I say to him? Yes. I told uh, hasta malo maker or something like that as I left. Yeah, Lenny said, said, uh, yeah, Lenny said uh, assalamu alaikum to the guy. Or salaikum salam, something like that. He said something in Yiddish, and I figured that's the closest thing. <laughs> Maybe it was. <laughs> Yeah, I remember when the, first, the uh, Genova, the video, like the first Christmas party they had for Genova. I forgot what year it was, but in the YouTube comment, somebody wrote, Big Lenny should have broken with a yarmulke and started a mosh pit in the middle of their party. <laughs> yep. That's a good idea. Me and Rob are going to break out some yarmulkes and make some videos <laughs> in the park or something soon. That's a good idea. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> I don't mess. I don't mess with the Jews or speak badly about the Jews. I think there's bad karma with that. So I might sit that one out. But I did it in the past when I was dating. Uh, I was dating a, a Jewish girl. I went to a house with a yamakan. I had to pretend I was. Did they believe it? Yeah. Well, the real religious ones won't let you marry them unless you convert. Exactly. That was the that was the issue. Um, so they were that? Orthodox. They were Orthodox Jews. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they forbid tattoos, Brad. What do you think of that? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you might have an epiphany one day, uh, Brad. Want to convert convert to Orthodox uh, Judaism, and then what? You're gonna have to get those tattoos removed. All those, all that. No, nah, don't worry life. about that, buddy. <laughs> and Nate too. I see Nate's been getting all tatted up. You're rubbing off on him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! Yeah, Nate got a, a tribal one too, right? Like a tribal style thing. No, it's some Japanese art, to, like a dragon and shit on his arm. The guy he's going to is very good too in Boca. I'm gonna go oh, see him. Very, very good, very good. He ain't worth a shit. <laughs> uh, How is he very good? His artwork is good. That's like saying Richard Ramirez's night job was very good. Oh, uh, well, you're gonna compare <laughs> Richard Ramirez to a fucking tattoo artist? You're a real asshole. About the well, your, your fucking boomer mentality. Here we go. Don't start, with the religion. Don't start with this religious shit or I'll get right off of here. Fucking weirdos. Keep believing. The only thing, the only reason that was invented was to control people and you fucking know it. It's the biggest racket in the world. Bullshit. Religion. religion. How many? Does not. More it's people have died well. in the name of religion than anything else. You know what controls Bullshit. people? Being Man, weak-minded. A torture chamber. <laughs> Don't make you do anything. Put you in a torture chamber. Trust me. That's what controls people. Fear. Religion gives you a free will and guidelines how to live. And marking fear, your body. Fear, put the fear of God your body in you. with ink God's watching. One of them. God's watching, little Timmy. God's watching. Be careful what you do. Just like Santa Claus. No, go, ride the fucker. go ride those reindeer. Hey, you're the one that does Santa Claus, Brad. Who does? You do all that Christmas gifts and stuff. <laughs> That's your you right. You're the one that came no. over with the fucking Bah Humbug hat on. 
Somebody Brad, did. I think we all worship something. If you don't worship God, you worship self, and you're at the religion of secular humanism, and that's the biggest religion going right now. Yeah. You need to, did you watch the, uh, you get Netflix, Brad? Yeah. Did you see the thing on uh, the Sons of Sam? It was pretty interesting. No, I haven't. David Berkowitz, he supposedly is a born-again believer now, but, I mean, it seems like the guy changed for the better because he had to go behind bars. So, supposedly, he wasn't responsible for all the murders. The guy was like, his theory was it was a, a, a worldwide cult that started in England and Charles Manson and a lot of the murders that they pinned on Son of Sam it was somebody else. But um, so the guy wrote a book about it. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Four part series. You can watch it really quickly, but pretty. Yeah, check it out. He was a he was a poster worker too, Berkowitz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you see That's it, Lenny? You get Netflix? No. No, that's pretty interesting. You some like of the it. biggest scums going are poster workers, Brad, and you know the only the, o, the only <laughs> channel allowed in Le, the only channel allowed to be on in Lenny's house is CNN, apparently. <laughs> Brad, what are you going to do when Biden mandates all federal workers, including postal workers, got to get uh, vaccinated? I don't know if he's going to do that. I think he will. I can see it coming down the pipe. He already did. He already did pass it. I didn't hear it. <clears throat> I yeah, didn't hear it was official. Yeah, they passed it already. Oh, I have to make a vaccine card then. Shouldn't set you up to erase this, Rob. <laughs> yeah, let's let's stray away from that shit. Yeah, we can't talk about that, you know, because you'll get fucking demonetized or deleted. We should start saying, everybody, get the vaccine. The vaccine is great for you. It has Wonderful. a thousand benefits. We'll be number one on YouTube, on Reddit. Yeah. Maybe get two shots off. a week. Fuck it. It's free. You can go to a different pharmacy every day and get another one. Fuck it. You know, one thing I will say quickly is everybody messages me. I'm sure they say the same thing to uh, you, Leonard, is oh, all that stuff you guys put in your body and you're scared of the vaccine. It's like, I know the risks I'm taking with, you know, the stuff I'm doing. I don't know the risks with that. So I don't think the average underground manufacturer has a technology to put microchips Inside the uh, <laughs> oh Jesus, that's the last thing you got to worry about. Is a mic we all have a microchip right now that we're on? Yeah, yeah. That's that's the least of your worries. The shit that you guys take has been researched for years. It's not like it just was just manufactured in the last year. You, you know what it is, Lenny. Next time, uh, <clears throat> Dale or you talk to Dale, tell him he's built like a microchip. <laughs> I think KP Fitness is built like a microchip. He's doing his first pro show this weekend, that kid. We'll see how he does. Yeah, down down here in Tampa. But speaking of chips, Leonard, how's that chocolate chip on your ear? Did that go away yet? No, it's still there. It falls uh, yeah. off. Grows and falls off. Yeah, it falls off of my passenger seat. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be missing. Probably, he's gonna be missing. He's gonna be missing a leg and an ear pretty soon. Rob's probably got about forty of those on his seat. <laughs> and you know they're still there because this fucker doesn't clean his car. As paranoid he is about fucking mold, <laughs> well, clean your goddamn car. Maybe uh. there's a strategy behind this. Maybe I'm gonna set, include with a purchase of Weird Energy, you get one of Lenny's crusty ear chips from my passenger. <laughs> <laughs> you should uh, you should send it to, to Mr. G to put on one of his giant Palumbo cookies, the Lenny chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> hey, I will, I will say, though, we got sent some of those. Those are good, actually. Those little uh, peanut butter jelly cup things. Yeah, I actually good. had them. Um, Rob sent me some from Jersey. I had the cups, the little mini. That's the same, that's the same guy that sent me some. Yeah, he's very, he's he's very cool. Like is. Oh, he's yeah. a good guy. Very generous. Yeah, man. Rob from Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. And he sent Lenny that neck harness, too. Yeah. And, and the grippers, grippers, I think he sent you guys. Yep. Yeah. He's a good guy. Yeah, they actually have finger strengtheners. I thought it was just, like, wristbands. They're actually, you uh, exercise your fingers with it. <laughs> you put these heavy wristbands on, you go like this. I'll have I to think bring them over. They, they come with your set. They'll fit on uh, micro microchips. Oh, Dale's legs. Dale can use the finger. <laughs> 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 Did any of you guys try the Leo Rex dick pumping protocol he was recommending on Instagram? <laughs> the what? What? The penis pump protocol from Leo Rex. Is that so I, didn't, I didn't see that. Yeah, he it's, posted something a couple weeks ago. 
That's what he's doing while his wife is in labor. He's busy penis pumping. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I actually, I, I messaged him today and I congratulated him. Uh, I guess uh, she gave birth. I don't know if you guys seen it or not, but. No, I didn't see. So. We haven't heard, I haven't heard a word from him since a while ago. Since you, since Marvin posted that video on your channel, I guess he got real upset about that. Huh? Yeah, I guess that's, that's what did it. Cause I texted him and messaged him and he didn't respond to me. So. Apparently, he took down the Misfit videos from his channel, too. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Well, ours was like 20,000. What a fucking baby. Come yeah. on, man. Give me a fucking break. Talk about being... You can't be online and be so over-fucking-sensitive. Exactly. Christ. I know. Please. Well, I, always I, thought, I always thought he was a good guy, too. He never he never rubbed me the wrong way, but that's, that's fucking weak. I'm sorry. Well, if you put yeah. yourself in his shoes, though, I mean... You know, he. I guess he just wanted to separate himself and kind of establish himself on his own, so nobody thinks that he, you know, rode on anybody's coattails. I think I kind of like, get that, but it's already done. I mean, the videos were already posted yeah. a long yeah, time I, I, ago. What's what's the what's the harm in leaving them up? You know what I mean? Yeah, he got I, good I, views from everything. Yeah, no, I I, I agree, hundred percent, but. I don't know, everybody has their reasonings for different things, but I am proud. I'm happy to see like his channel has really developed. Well, he gets, he gets a, a good amount of views. I mean, the stuff he does with Boston and uh, Derek, I mean, he's done a great job in the past few months. You got to give him that. Yeah. I don't watch that stuff. I feel like I'm in a fucking biology class. I'm, I was never a school person anyway. All these fucking fancy words for everything. He just loses me after about three or four minutes. But that's because I'm a fucking lame brain, Florida educated idiot. So, no, I just tell me, just tell me what's good to use and what's not good to use. And that, you know, I don't, right, right. Talk like, like you're in, like, like you're, like you're in medical school or some fucking thing, which I'm sure a lot of people get, get something out of it, but it's just a little too technical for me. Right. Yeah, for oh, a trailer yeah. dweller. Huh? Yeah, trailer dweller like you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm not with mommy at 50, so blow me. Hey, you ought to be glad. I am. <laughs> don't have to mow, mow all those grass clippings. <laughs> we have a, la a landscaping service. Huh? I'm my, I'm my own landscaping service. I I'm expect the like so to learn any technical terms, Brad, when you got to bag of mail on one shoulder and a bag of lawn clippings on the other. <laughs> Did I ever you tell you push more, that? Brad? Huh? You got to push more or you got to sit down more? No, I got a riding mower. <laughs> well, Why you got a pretty big yard to cut? Yeah, it's 1.3 acres. Does Taco Queen get out there and help you? She has, yeah. Yeah. She t the deal is she takes care of the inside, I take care of the outside. But you enjoy it, right? It's almost like... Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And depending how many beers I drink is how long it takes me. <laughs> look at look at this square shaking his head. <laughs> oh, he's got to be under some sort of influence, eh, Brad? <laughs> Can't just go with the flow. It helps you pass the time. <laughs> no, I don't always drink when I do it. It's too hot outside, man. There's days where I just... I go through gallons of water doing that shit. My clothes are soaked, and I wear, I usually wear long sleeve and long pants when I have to weed whack and shit because all the grass that sprays all over you, but some days I can't. It's too fucking hot. How was the weather up in Chicago when you went up there? Oh, it was beautiful, man. Yeah. It was like 80s during the day. One day I think it got to 90, but at night it got into the 60s. Huh. Yeah, it's nice up there. The suburbs of city. The suburbs, like f yeah. from Chicago, it was about 45 minutes did by Aurora. The, did you go through the hoods? No, no hoods. All farmland and shit out there. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, going to the beef capital of the world there in the Midwest, why the hell are you going to a raunchy hot dog joint? <laughs> That's just that, that that wasn't even that good. Portillo's isn't even that's more like a fucking, I don't know, just a trendy thing. What they what they got there that I like is chocolate cake shake, which is fucking awesome. Uh, and they got good hot beef sandwiches. The hot dogs are okay, but we got other there. I didn't take pictures of all the food I got, just 
some bullshit. But there's a lot of up there, man. The food is fantastic. I like really the, I like the burger you posted that had the the mac and cheese. Yeah, that, that place is very good too. But every uh, up there, the mom and pops are better than the more commercial shit. To be honest, of course, yeah. they're still open up there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. There was no issue with masks or none of that shit. Yeah, it's like when I went to Philly, my dad and I in 2011, and those places when you watch the the Eagles Monday Night Football games, they always show those two cheesesteak places that are like diagonal. We went, went we went to both; they were good. But people that are like from there said you got to go to the mom and pop. Um, yeah, steak. they're way better than those Pat and Gino's their name, but they were still pretty good. They were busy. It was like during the week lunchtime it was like nonstop busy. But that, I mean, it was a good experience to go try them. Yeah, you always got to ask the locals. That's why yeah. uh, it was nice. It was nice moving down here and having Brad as a friend. He he's a good person to know as far as where's a good burger joint, Tucker Dukes, for example. Where's you know? Oh, okay. What about hot spots? What about when you lived with Genova? Did he tell you the hot spots to go eat? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. yeah, every gas every no. gas station's got great pizza and fucking burritos. No, you know what? He, he the the gas station by his house. Uh, every single morning he goes there and eats those empanada things every day. That's what uh. he. Yeah, uh. and then sometimes after the gym. So, um, that was a very interesting couple of weeks. But I look back and he actually did me a, a huge favor. You know, we had a deal instead of paying uh, 100, 150 for a hotel. I gave him like 60 bucks a day was the deal, which then turned into, uh, you know, the next uh, stay here the next five nights. Just buy me a Star Wars wig or buy me this, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars wig. Lightsaber. Had to, <laughs> had to people back home and they're like, how's Florida going so far? Where, how you doing down there? Ah, uh, pretty good. Uh, how much you paying? Uh, about a uh, Star Wars wig a week. But, <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I'm, I miss, I miss Jason sometimes when I think of like some of the funny things that he says. But I don't know. Wait, he's good. At, he's okay in small doses. When it's everyday shit, he really, he can really fucking get on your nerves. But once a week isn't bad, you know. I see that that Jonas guy is trying to resurrect uh, Genova and everything. And he was out in front of an old world gym. He's got a podcast. Yeah, he actually uh, he he reached out to me to tr he wanted to do something with with Lenny, and you know we talked, we met up with him, and everything was fine. And then, uh, long story short, I had one of my um, temper tantrums on him, and. <laughs> <laughs> Brad knows uh but I me I messaged him and I you know I apologize for all that but basically it was just I got the I got the 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 vibe from him that you know he was saying oh I'll do a video I'll I'll record Lenny put it on his channel no problem and then you know in exchange just do a video for my channel but that first day we filmed a little skit on Instagram and within hours he reposts it onto his thing and that, I don't know why that ticked me off but it kind of just made me think the first thing that's going to happen is he's going to go out with Lenny record something and he's going to take all the best footage save it for his channel and then give I just felt like you know he's in it too much for himself and it's too obvious you know well he, he pops up every few years or so for whatever fucking reason I think Jason fucked that guy over so many so many times i don't even know why he'd want to be, be a part of anything that jason does but i you know that's he started jason on youtube and shit i think he's just maybe he like, like nostalgic he's got, or he's got yeah, nothing else to fucking do i don't know he's not the he, only one he he hates, he's, him over. He's, he's got a he's got a problem with me because he thinks that i that i talk jason out of filming with him or something when all i said was and you i mean I, it was in one of the videos they did a like a My Story Part 37 or whatever fucking what it was. And they yeah. said, oh, we're going to charge a few dollars for it. And I told Jason that was stupid because the, the following that we have, the, one person will pay that $3, copy it, and fucking repost it somewhere else. So right, right. what the fuck is the point of doing that? And then he yeah. took it as like I told Jason not to film with him. I was happy when he came back around for Jason because they get Jason off my ass every fucking day. I encourage that shit. 
but he took it a certain kind of fucking way. And then I remember seeing him at World Gym or no, LA Fitness in Delray. And I went up, I went up to him to give me whatever a fist bump. He just he had his headphones on. He just shook his head no and walked away. Like, okay, well, fuck you too. But yeah, he, he, he talks like he says, like he said shit to me. He didn't say a fucking word to me. He's full of shit. That's why I think he's he's most most of what he says is embellished or half fucking lies. So whatever, let him do his thing. It's not going to get any traction because it's fucking boring. No, and he talk he he approaches me and people he talks to me like I own Lenny. Like he he one day he said to me, "Don't be a bitch. Let me let me record with Lenny." And you know me, like I that's not a smart thing to say. You know I get angry you know, I start off like that right yeah. so uh, i told him i don't know lenny if he wants to film with you he'll film with you he, he you have his number you have his information like wh why you know don't it's not up to me it's up to him so you know if, if lenny wanted to film with him that bad he'd call him and say hey let's go do something where i don't have to be there for it so i don't know but the more the more content the merrier at this point but at the time like Two months ago, I feel like they, we already had so much heat on us from whatever was going on, whatever misunderstandings were going around. We had heat on us for that. So it's, it, our next move was to bring back somebody that the majority of the people don't really like. I think, you know, the, a lot of people might have tuned out at that point or they've watched. No, Jonas, they, Jonas has been around for so long. I don't think that really matters. It's whatever. If it's if it's a good video and it's funny, nobody gives a shit really who you film with. I don't think. But it's more the, the following that we have. They get more bent out of shape when there's new people that come along. Yeah. Everybody that comes along that's new. And you felt that shit, when, you know, being around later in the whatever. They, they have whatever it is. They just fucking go hard after anybody that we introduce that later, you know, look yeah, what they do. With, we had, we had, we had fucking Larry on the podcast and they go and fucking dig up all kinds of information they can find on him and shit. You know, it's come on. Yeah. So is, the prince, is the prince done for good? That's the, the scuttlebutt I've been hearing. <laughs> he's packed up all the podcast gear. He's done with it. Yeah, he's done. He sits over for him. He's he's totally lost interest. He doesn't. It got so toxic. He doesn't. He doesn't want any part of the bullshit. Yeah, define not, toxic, please. It's not. It's not worth his time. Well, when, when, every, when, every, when everybody's getting doxxed and everybody's going after each other, it's like it's. What does dox mean, Brad? <clears throat> you know exactly what it means. Like, I don't know what dox means. I see it. At, what is it? You're like, a liar. You're stop playing. No, stupid. I don't. Honestly, I see that. I see it's been thrown around. What does it mean? <laughs> Well, they just dig up information on your entire family, your personal business, you know. And that hurts. I don't know. Hey, I got listen. tired. It doesn't bother me. I, hey, I'm surprised you want to continue doing shit after that, to be honest. <laughs> why? I mean, why? why you, lost your job after, you lost your job after 28 fucking years. Am I going to run and hide? No, you no, and I understood why you didn't because now after doing that, what else, what the fuck do you got to lose now? You know, might as well keep going, try to make a buck off. Doesn't it. matter if I was a high ranking businessman, I get nothing. You're it's like you're letting people harm you. It's so toxic. Why don't, whoever says that ball up, you're gonna need to go to a doctor's checkup see if you have a vagina between your legs. <laughs> oh. What the hell is that supposed to? What kind of man would say that? Well, you know, those guys around the turn of the century they used to work 16 hours in a steel mill or a mine. You think they'd worry if somebody knew their information? It's too toxic. I can't go to the corner bar. Well, maybe, maybe toxic. Maybe toxic is the wrong word. I, may, I should say negative. Too, too, Again, too, much, neg too much negativity. Negativity when you run for it, does, that doesn't well, whatever, affect Whatever, that's to each his own. You know, some like people COVID. can deal with it better well, than others. Own, it's but, you know, there's a name for this as owns, each it. And that's called a pussy. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, he, he, he doesn't need this, you know, so. Correct. And he, yeah. listen, he wanted to stop doing the shit when World Gym closed. <laughs> I wanted to stop doing it when he wasn't getting those big paydays. End of story. Don't oh, sugarcoat stop. it. And don't kiss ass. There was no big paydays back then anyway. The, you, oh, this, shit. He was, what are you kidding me? They don't. How much did you you know? You're the channel. You two doesn't. I saw a form where he showed us thirty five thousand dollars. 
Yeah, I don't know. Money, that's out of my ass what kind of money. You okay, trying to tell me for 35, a little bit of filming that that kind of money isn't good money? 35 grand over how many years? You work years? a full-time job, you want an extra 35 for having fun? That's when it stopped. 35 grand for how many fucking years? That's you shit. a weird obsession for kissing that guy's ass. Who's kissing? And I'm not kissing his ass. I'm telling you facts. No, I'm not telling you facts, and you know it. What? What? You heard what I just said. No, because you had. I was talking while you had the camera up your twitching nose. You're talking about Jonas. Oh, Jason screwed him over. No, somebody else screwed him over. And you know who that is, of course. Who? He kissed his ass till the no, end. That's, no, fuck. No, Jason. Andrew. Jason cut. Jason's mother got a fucking restraining order against Jonas years ago. Yeah, no, Jonas, know Jonas. I know he. I know he broke Jason's car window in the car. I know that. Who? Oh, the brick yeah. through the window. Yeah, that was him. Yeah, Jason fucked him over a few times, man. That was Jason being a little, a little creep. You know how he is. He plays both sides. Well, Jonas came back and forgave him. Yeah. Who threw a brick through whose car? When, when, uh, when Jason ordered 66 Jonas years ago, a brick ended up going through Jason's back window at the gym one morning. But uh, nobody saw us who did it. It's just yeah, Lenny's, yeah, assume, yeah. Lenny's assuming it was Jonas. Of course it was. You think? <laughs> him and his brother. Did you see him do it? You can't say that. Yes, of course it was. All right. Lenny well, says so. Since we're on here now, I'd like to, because I don't know the guy enough to, for me to say the things I said to him, I'd like to publicly apologize to him, and uh, that's it. And I'd like to apologize <laughs> for not going, i like to apologize for not going out and film with him. Of course, I didn't have any goodies on me, and he wanted to take me to Wilton Manors to a nice club with his gorgeous Chicago brunette girlfriend, who was giving me googly eyes all the time. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, you think it's, well... You haven't even gone through your your case yet. You think it's a good idea to be on some goodies and going down to that shithole? I do what the fuck I want. That lawyer can stick it up his ass. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> they want to throw me in jail. Go ahead, throw me in jail. You're not going to get. You're not going to get thrown in jail for that little shit anyway. Well, if they the want, lawyers, to, the lawyers dragging it out to make more fucking money because the lawyers are stop me from, You're not going to stop me from doing what I want to do. That's not hurting anybody. Just because it's on their shitty law books. Remember, abortions on the is illegal, so they can go fuck themselves. To me, an ab- kind of anybody involved in abortion, doctor, man, or woman, is worse than any child molester ever was, and that's a fact. But that's they, legal. They got bigger fish to fry in Florida, like the one on uh, the Mis- Misfit Gear Division Instagram posted that kid that was a Genova fan and follower. He got on a oh, yeah. shotgun and was cannibalizing <laughs> and killing. <laughs> I think they better worry about that in Florida, not a uh, little petty <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> They're not worried about it. That's why you're. That's why you're still a free man, and you you will continue to be. The worst thing that's going to happen is you'll get well probation, doubtful, or like we talked about drug court, which is fuck ever. That case, you, you, you got to go get tested once a week or some bullshit. That was an, an illegal search and illegal stop because I did not go through a stop sign. Number one, number two. He never told me about that when I got it. He never wrote down on the ticket. And he said that he pulled me over because he smelled marijuana come from the car. When there's a car like 30 feet back following me. And I didn't, I didn't smoke any marijuana in my car. I didn't well, have it's only because car. It's only because that car had medical cannabis written on the side of it is why he said that. Well, I don't, I don't need to. That's an illegal search, an illegal stop. Well, illegal when you gave him permission to search your fucking car, dummy. Yeah, because I and then you're singing, like a, singing like a fucking canary, blaming the chick that you were with earlier. Give hey, it a Brad, name and address. Let me asshole. clue you. Even if I if I would have said no, they'd have got the police dog and sniffed it out, whether I knew it was in there or not. So, I don't know. Yes, that's that's how they do it. That time of the morning, you think they would have went through that whole hassle? Yeah, yeah. it was only car out there. Yeah, the the dog was right there. The dog oh, okay. Is right oh, okay. So you, you know, can't win on that. It it was in uh, one of the uh, more like ghetto neighborhood, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was. Where's that, Delray? Yeah, yeah. Went over on Fifth. Oh, okay. 
so they you know they they a, a white guy driving through there they know he's going there to pick something up or assuming he is so i was pulled over there years ago you know 20 years before and i used to pick up hookers and every I, ne- I never got pulled over with a girl in the car it's funny but i would be by myself they say what are you doing over here so i'm looking for a girl and they'd laugh i said which one i'd say the names hey, why do you like her i said oh she gives good she likes ass and they're laughing and they say go home this was in the 90s you're here for some poontang big man. Is that why you're out here? <laughs> oh, man. There yeah, he that's he's he's rat, ratting out prostitutes, giving names. <laughs> that's when I was in Pompano in 1991. <laughs> down in Pompano, and I hit a, a bum on the street. He was just standing out in the street. I didn't see him. He was rolling on the top of my car. He went flying. Black guy with this real nasty looking. Like, so I stopped the car. I was like, 500 niggers come over. That was when they were all. Oh, <laughs> God. They go, who they go, hit him? You have some editing to do, pal. And yeah, they go, who hit him? And then they no the girl goes, a big guy. <laughs> so and then, uh, when the cops came around, I asked me, what are you doing over here? I said, looking for a girl. I guess he was looking for some poontang, huh? So I went back in my car. There's like three girls in the car. I says, I got to go home now. And they're like sitting there. I said, we ain't going nowhere. We're going to We're going to have some fun. And I said, officer, could you get these girls out of the car? He says, here's how you get them out of your car. And he grabbed one by the hair and punched her in the face and pulled her out. And he cooked the other one by her lug and just dropped her on the, on the street. He goes, that's how you get them out of your car. And I'm, get out of here. <laughs> of course, that was 91. Remember that bald cop, the cover cop, uh, Dave from the World Gym in, in Delray? He knew all the girls you knew from Boyd. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know so and so. Hope. He goes, oh, yeah. Because you like yeah. that, huh, big man? <laughs> yeah, I, I see a lot of them on Facebook. For some reason, they like don't donate any money. They tell people to donate money to St. Jude Children's Research Fund or something. I don't know what that's all about. You got a Facebook, Lenny? I didn't know you had a Facebook. No, I'm just looking around for some names that I knew. And sure enough, there's still plenty of black girls. Like they're in their 50s now or 60s. <clears> they <throat> up. Most of them, you know, cleaned up their life. You know, real church going now, but. They all want donations to St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in their name. I find that odd. Maybe they're getting some type of, maybe it's some type of scam. I don't know. I haven't seen that. Hey, Brad, some creep they caught in uh, the town north of here, Spartanburg. It's a real ghetto. But he it, it was, uh, you know, those sticky rat traps and roach traps you like put on the floor and they get stuck and they can't get off. Well, yeah. anyway, he was using that, sticking his hands through the mailbox, stealing mail. They got him. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Spartanburg, <laughs> South Carolina. <laughs> anybody try that? You ever catch anybody doing that? No, they just try to break the fucking box open. Uh. There's nothing coming through the mail anymore anyway, really. I mean, it's, yeah. it's pointless to do that shit. Down in Miami, they have a problem with them. Uh, stealing our arrow key because we have an arrow key that opens up all the the cluster boxes. You know, I don't know if you've ever had one of those where you, in your apartment that you have a wall box or a cluster box where there's a bunch of different deliveries at one stop. Yeah, we have an arrow key that's a universal key that opens all those. So there was a they had problems down in Miami. A lot of them getting stolen. Oh shit! Yeah. What are you gonna do? How many more years till you can retire, Brad? Uh, January will be, t- I'll have 20 in. So I could probably buy 50, another 14 years, 13, 14 years. Wow. That's 50, amazing. 56. But it gets yeah, easier. Pretty young. Yeah. It gets I, can stay as long, I can stay as long as I want, but 56 is when I'm, when I'll be able to get my full retirement. You going to keep working? You think? I don't know. Just depends where I'm at. How much pension is it going to be compared to your salary? I, I should make more that when I'm retired than when I'm working. What? Yeah, because we have a thrift we have a thrift savings plus a pension. So, in other words, if you kept working, your salary would just add to the pension. Yeah. Not bad. Once you max out, you're working for free. You might as well retire. You still, uh, when you retire, you still get health benefits and all that. Yeah, as long as you stay your full time. Hmm. Like if you if you take it early out, if you take early retirement, you your benefits don't go to your dad. Well, pumps must be loaded. No kids, no woman. 
Pumps just started a few years ago. I actually got him the job because I was, I, that's when I had a ghetto route. He saw me in there. He was working for Comcast and, and I didn't recognize him because he got fat and old. I'm like, what the fuck is that Brad? I had to get close to him. I'm like, what the fuck? He said, hey. He's like, are they hiring? I hate this fucking job. I said, yeah. And he went through the process and got hired. That was fucking seven years ago, something like that. Pomps is, is uh, Mr. MisfitGear.com. Make sure you patronize him. He's yeah, doing he, double duty. He got rid of a lot of uh, Jason supplements. He got a whole bunch of that shit from Adam Harper. So he heavily discounted all that crap. How's your, uh, how's your, uh, for, what is it? Weird energy. Weird Come energy, on. Weird energy. You can't keep it on the shelf. It's 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 going good actually. Um, I got a bunch coming to me so that uh, Lenny can sign a few. You know that he can sign every every single one that will be sold as soon as I get them in. Will will be signed and maybe we'll include a little other, other bonus with it. But uh, yeah, I have a bunch of them on the way to me right now. Guys, going to expand the line at all to add any other products? We're going to change it after this batch is so we're going to revamp it ourselves and if somebody can do it for us fine but we need to get a good graphic designer actually well, that, the shit the shit that adam harper did for jason was actually pretty good adam knows what he's doing he, he did a good job with that stuff well he got stuck he got he got stuck with a ton of it because people you know they buy it people didn't buy it twice they buy it once just for the you know I don't know, to have a souvenir or some fucking thing, and that was it. Exactly. The graphic designer, that's the easiest part of the whole thing. I mean, I like these labels. The, the, one, the one thing that would have made a big difference is a lot of pre-workouts have like a holographic label, like a holographic film on it. That would have made it a nicer. But I, I, like, the, I like the current one. Um, yeah, I think, I think the ingredients are more important than anything. I don't fuck the graphics. Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. And care less about that. You should have that, Martha, that, that, car, that cartoon of Lenny in his underwear holding a fucking mop would be fine with that shit. We got to remember, Brad, teenagers in early 20s are a whole different mindset. That's They're true. into a visual. Yeah. Kalora, do you take pre workouts or no? I don't. I cut out caffeine pretty much. I mean, the other ingredients would work fine. I just don't do any caffeine anymore. So, I mean, <laughs> citrulline. Anything at all in the morning to get, or, or nothing at all? He's, he's, he's over there stealing Bootsy's catnip. <laughs> yeah, I cut it out. It's like I'm just focusing on getting better sleep, so I realize I don't need it. It's a good yeah. supplement, caffeine. I mean, it's you know one of the proven supplements to add like strength and things like that. But I go for more of a pump. I don't. I don't use it now. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's impressive. That's that's impressive to. Not, I think. 97 percent of people i would say use caffeine throughout the day so that's impressive it's the and most used substance in the world really yeah. in fact this guy was on joe rogan i just watched a clip on youtube it was a couple of weeks back i don't know who this guy was some older guy professor or something but he said he he didn't do caffeine for like three months and he had a cup of coffee he said he swore it was like a psychedelic experience because wow. it's just receptors for it yeah Absolutely. he said it was like amazing the feeling Colombo said that too. He said if he doesn't have coffee for a while, when he has one, it'll give him enough energy. He said to drive from Florida to uh, New York, seventeen-hour drive, he'd get through with one coffee. Yeah, oh, I think even a week or two off caffeine, and if somebody goes back to it, it, it would work great for him again. If they're finding like they're not getting the same effect, but yeah, yeah I drink coffee every day. Espresso, really strong, just one cup. So what is that, like 150 milligrams, you think, caffeine? I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's good. It gets it wakes me up, gets my my poop going, take a nice shit, and I'm ready for the day. Yeah. The, I, the, the double, the double shot. Yeah. I have, the, I have the espresso maker. You've seen it, right? Yeah, yeah. No, we used to have one at one of my jobs. So I, I, there's, there was an option for like a single serving or a double. No, I fill up a whole coffee mug. With espresso? Yeah. Yes, that's that's strong. Just one, just one a day in the morning. That's it. I don't take pre-workout or none of that shit. No. 
Mm-hmm. What about that other thing you take, Brad? You don't think that has anything to do with it? Yeah, the, but yeah, pre-workout, I would take pre-work. I only take pre-workout if it's given to me. Like the shit that Pumps gave me, I tried. I tried Jason's pre-workout. I tried the BCAA thing. Yeah, and yeah. That seemed okay, but I don't know what the point of that shit is anyway. Yeah, no, I, I was asking because Andrew, I'll, I'll send, I'll, I'll send you a couple anyway if you want, just to have it as like a novelty, or if you ever go back to it. And then Brad, of course, the same thing. And you usually have one for the gym or an empty tin in there or something. Yeah, I put some other put some other powder in there. Yeah. Dale said it was pretty good. Dale and Samurai Jack tried it out on yeah. it. They said Everybody it that's tried it loves it. And uh, I I enjoy it too because it's not too much stimulant to get that anxiety and that nasty feeling. Um, the one thing I don't like about pre-workout is a lot of them have a lot of that beta alamine that makes my skin feel fucking weird, like pins and shit in my skin. I don't like that feeling. Yeah, and your and your face too. Is it the beta alamine or whatever it's called? Yeah, that's what it does. Or it yeah. yeah, I don't like I don't like that feeling at all. <clears throat> well, it has some, but I never noticed that to an extreme. All right, good. Yeah. How much caffeine you got in there in your guys' pre-workout, Rob? 350. 350? Yeah. yeah. Maybe if you guys do real well with it, uh, Singerman or PJ will offer to, to buy you guys out like Vince did with the WCW. You can merge with Singerman and be partners. How about that? We're going to put him out of business soon. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Is this band still on you guys? Not allowed in the gym down there or what? Yeah, yeah. Why? I don't Who knows? I, I was thinking about it today, and it really just ang- – it really angers me thinking about the day that I went by myself, and they said you can't train here anymore. Like the young girls at, at the, the front desk, just like the typical millennial, just – we didn't even say anything offensive in the video, and they acted like we trashed their athletes or anything. They, they just – they don't understand – uh, Lenny and you know his his material and well did they give you did he give you a specific reason as what no. you actually did? I never talked to him no yeah, that's bullshit that's bullshit and at the front desk uh <clears throat> called him right in front of me and he walked away I didn't hear them speaking but I said is that Aaron and it was him so I get it though I get it uh, I guess he doesn't have that place for the money it's more of like He's showing off. It's like a place when people come to visit him or, you know what I mean? It, it's like a, a flex for him. So, and I, I, I get it. Him not wanting any extra drama, but at the end of the day, uh, I don't think PJ Braun would do something like that. Nah, he will no. PJ embraces the trolling. He doesn't give a shit. Yeah. He's got a gym. He's got a gym now too, though. Have you, you guys haven't talked to him about going there? Have I, you? I don't want to, I, I talked to him, maybe like once a week, once every two weeks. I don't want to see McLeod reached out when PJ started building a gym. McLeod messaged him. Hey, uh, can Lenny come to your gym uh, and film a video? And he said, sure, as soon as it's done. But I thought of it, but I didn't text him because I don't want to. I also know PJ is a real nice guy. And even if he doesn't want any involvement with us, not because of him, but because of, you know, his athletes and stuff we talked about, like, a, a lot of his athletes, like the the females and stuff, they can't handle the trolling. So yeah. uh, it's not him as much as maybe the, the the people who he, you know, he built a gym for his whatever. So I don't want him to be not want to do it and just feel like if he doesn't allow us to, we're going to dox him or go online and say something bad. So I didn't even want to ask him, but he, he said yes. So I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him about it, but. Does that make sense? You know, it's the same with when Jason would walk in, the whole staff would get pissed about it. Yeah. No, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I think they, they I think that whole Blackstone Labs has a bad taste in their mouth and anything involved in the misfits, you know? <laughs> oh, well. So, <clears throat> but I was, a uh, funny story is uh, one time I was going to meet up with him. I was going to go buy Blackstone uh, to pick up a protein or whatever. And, I was at the gym down the street waiting for him to text me back. And it was, it was like an hour or so. And I'm thinking, man, what is this guy up to? What is he doing? And I opened my phone on Instagram and he's sitting in his office with two snakes around his neck, just like 
you know, and he posted it like as I was wait, I thought that was pretty funny, you know. So he owns a bunch of snakes like Palumbo. Yeah, he buys them from Palumbo. Oh, he does? Yeah. He pulls them out of drawers. He's like, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> what a what a life. What a life for those snakes, huh? Stuck in drawers all day. Oh uh, man. I don't know. Hopefully you don't, you don't let them at those uh, kitty cats that PJ has. You got like ten cats, dogs, snakes. Yeah, all I know is, all I know is when we went to Palumbo's, when he did that interview with him, because he he has it in, a, you know, a separate. His house is separate from the garage where he has his podcast studio and shit. And you got to go up the stairs to where the podcasting is. Well, downstairs it just smelled like a fucking. It smelled like absolute shit, like a fucking barn in there, and it was all the snakes that he's got. You remember that, Lenny? Yeah, it was disgusting. Yeah. I'm, I think a psychological reason why men are interested in snakes is they like like old ladies and girls to say, ooh, and then, ooh, I'll protect you. And then they pick up the snake like they're not afraid of it. Like, it's a, tough, like, a, like, a, like a tough guy thing? Yeah, like Dale would do with a gun or something. Like A lot of guys would do that. <laughs> They'll get a girl in the passenger seat of the car. <laughs> you get a girl in a passenger seat and go real fast and try to scare them. I've seen guys do that, you know, or get caught and just show the girl the blood. It's a very, very cheap way to impress girls, but guys still do it. <laughs> you and Rob need to come up here, Lenny and Train. We'll go to Dale's gym. Uh, yeah, I sure, I, sure, I, sure, I sure could. I sure love to. I've been wanting to come up for years. <clears throat> and well, the Although, next two months, it's it's going to be very nice up there. You know, the fall. Yeah, but they're they're going to lock us down again. I guarantee it. I said it last year. Uh, yes, they are. And they're going to send National Guard into Florida if, if we, we don't comply. I see he, he challenged him real good, DeSantis. They stand in his way. <sighs> His people are going to say, call the guard, and he has the power to do that under the pandemic. That's my little prediction. Mm. So we're going to be back to square one. Because that's the agenda. The agenda needs to be completed. Of course they're going to do that again and again and again. And so everyone has that information in them. I don't know, I, like I said, I don't believe COVID exists. I don't see it. I don't smell it. Just like the atheists say, God doesn't exist. I don't see it. I don't smell it. I don't hear him. When tragedy happens, where is he? Well, why is that okay? Why is that legal? But it's basically illegal to say, especially on the internet and in public, that I don't believe in COVID. Why is that illegal? That says it all. Well, it's... It's real. You can't deny that it's not real, but it's not as deadly not as they claim. It's not. I, I can deny it. I just did. Okay. Semantics, whatever. It's it's just not as deadly as they portray it to be, and there's Who's no they? reason to lock down the entire world for the fucking thing. When you, you have a 90, when you have a 99.9% .9 survival rate, why the fuck are you locking down the world? You know why. You know why exactly why they did that shit last year, and they got their way. They didn't get their way. That was just a test Bullshit. run. Until the agenda is completed, it won't stop. What's more, on the, what's more on the agenda? To get this guy elected for another fucking term? Please. Much Jane more Fonda on the said it was COVID was God's gift to the left, is what Jane Fonda said. <laughs> yeah. no, I think there's something going There's actual viral activity, but uh, something stinks with the whole thing. I mean, it's just... It, that's the thing, is people want... If, they're not going to fight this. If it's a real elite agenda... Control, you know, ri filthy rich people like Soros or whoever, you're not going to fight it. You know, you're not going to fight the government either. It's like I was talking to a co worker. I was like, these idiots on the keyboards, they think, oh, I'm going to stand and fight the government if they come to their house. Really, I got my little nine millimeter. Like, if they come to my house, 10, 10 guys, you know, with uh, shit like this, real armor and, and assault <laughs> rifles, I'm going to give them my gun, you know? Well, Look at it this way. Become a martyr. You can, but I don't think enough people are willing to do it. It's like yeah, I can ask you I guys. Believe it in That's well, why in the Bible they always use that term, the 144,000. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, that, that's what's going to be left, and I'm going to be one of them. 
<laughs> well, it's like I was going to ask you guys, are they are the Cubans still out waving their flags? It's like, what the hell are they accomplishing? Do you think things are changing in Cuba because they're out there in South Florida doing that? Right, right. Yeah, exactly. It's very pointless. No, I they're never getting, agree they're with gonna, that. They're going to get punished harder for that shit. Yeah. Right? That's just the media and, and present, uh, to press the media, the protests, starting with that Gandhi over in India having those skinny rakes protest against the British Empire and they get mowed down. Just like those porch monkeys getting pushed over that bridge. I mean, it's just a joke, protest. Who does it? Feminists, homosexuals. <laughs> all the titles, all the abominations that like to legitimize themselves or say they were born that way, yeah. <laughs> I, heard, I saw you. I saw you out there with the Cubans marching at the gas station. <laughs> it was called infiltration, Brad. Yeah, I know. You, you saw me and me and me out there. We're, we're the gay for, You were looking for some nice Cuban poontang. I know what you were looking for. Well, the luster wore off quickly because you know it's it is it's pretty it's just a joke, and of course you know that's what happens when you take the guns out of a country. Governments can do that, and that's what they're going to do here soon. They've been wanting to do that, looking for another grun grabbing opportunity, make it easier. Then it'll be like Cuba; they'll really push you around at will. That's not going to happen here, I don't think. Nothing would surprise me. You're right, though. I... As long as people have their alcohol, their porn, and their junk food, and their weed, they're placated. They'll do anything. There's no beliefs anymore. No convictions. Hey, just look at just look at what the essential businesses were last year that stayed open: McDonald's, Wendy's, you know, all the all the good food that's for you. But the mom and pop places that actually make decent food had to shut down. Yeah. Why is that? Why the fuck is that? They don't talk about building your immune system and being healthy, yeah. getting exercise. Stay in your house. Don't get any sunlight. Don't go to the beach. Don't do no. Go to, go to McDonald's though. Go to the liquor store and go to the weed shop. But no, everything else has to be closed. Fuck off. Just like you're going to start with these hurricane warnings and yeah. shutting everything off and just for a few branches blowing down. We were in full force hurricanes. I don't remember a, a fucking thing happening. Maybe a few trees fell down. That's about it. And the power went out, which shouldn't have went out and shouldn't have took so long to get back because of incompetency. Yeah, well, last um, around Halloween last year, whatever storm, it was a tropical storm, well, it came through here. And knocked my power out for a day and a half. So I ripped into Duke Energy. I was like, you kidding me? I was like, I'm from Florida. I had power on quicker from major hurricanes. It was like this little storm and the power's out for a day and a half. Luckily, it was cool. It was like 50 degrees. But still, it's like, come on, you kidding me? You shitting me? I, th I think you've gotten worse hurricanes than we have in the past few years. Yeah, we yeah. have. Which is just, and I'm way inland, so... I ripped into I looked up the CEO's name, some woman. I said, I said, take from her salary. I said, I might have to throw out my food from my fridge from the power outage. I said, I want it to come from her salary and her bonuses if I have to. Things like that sh shouldn't be happening. No. 80, 80 years ago, the technology was still basically the same. People had televisions. They had washer dryers. They had ovens and stuff. In well, the you late 40s. But this, but. The problem is, is the power lines are not buried down here. They're all, when you drive around, and you see power lines. There's fucking trees right next to all the power lines because people don't want to look at ugly power lines. Bury the fucking thing. You wouldn't lose yeah. power in these storms. But they, it's cost too much money. Infrastructure fucking sucks. And it's what it is. Well, instead of giving money to other countries, that's what we should be fixing. No yeah, shit. Exactly. That's why they, they want to move out. They need transgender studies and the uh. fucking... It, it, and some towel head land over there. Yeah, you know? do you believe that? Money going to that crap? Fuck yourself. Hey, the whites think it's cool, the liberal whites. <laughs> bleeding heart, bleeding hearts. Uh, now I hear that. It's going around Instagram. I don't know her name. Some black female wrestler for the U.S. She won gold and she was all excited and saying how she loves our country. So now the white liberals are getting on her saying, oh, you shouldn't say that. It just shows you how much they hate our country. You're going and to the fucking Olympics to represent your yeah. country. What the fuck? What the fuck? And the girl, you, know, be, you wouldn't be there. What the the fuck? girl came from a poor family. You know what? You heard what she said, what she's going to do with the money. 
buy her mother a food truck so she could sell food. Yeah, she was like our mother ever wanted was a damn food truck to make money. Right. To be a little bit of an entrepreneur, whatever. And they're going to trick trash her. Which I'm glad the women's soccer team got knocked out by Sweden and Canada. They couldn't even score a goal against them. That's pretty pathetic. Who they said they were women? Who said, who said they were women? They look like that girl who used to hang around Mr. GHB. Remember that ugly, disgusting thing? He used to always show up at the gym. Remember that with that Andy GHB boy? She'd always hang around him. Looks like that. Just dye, oh, yeah. her, hair, dye her hair red. That was the most disgusting thing. I have ever. He kept, she kept showing up and hanging around him. And we're looking like, what the fuck is that? One of those, one of those dirty girls from the sober houses. <laughs> no, just some weird dyke-looking thing. It never spoke. Just looked at it funny. Remember that Bob <laughs> Dylan thing that what was at oh, all the gyms? Yeah, too? yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you want to get your channel fucking deleted, don't you, asshole? <laughs> look, look at Rob Zilla. He's like, God damn it! <laughs> yeah, another one. Do you know how to do you know how to just bleep certain words instead of cutting whole s- segments out or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'll do. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to delete this because Brad <laughs> yeah! wants you to delete the little Fiedelman uh, commentary from my part, I'm sure. Why? That's that's what you said. And that's you, you can want say to whatever it. you want. You can say he wouldn't want to put a princey to get offended because he'll start lighting up his phone. Oh, stop. <laughs> That's uh, fucking thieving, you know what? Oh god! I had to go over there and throw a brick through his bedroom window when he's sleeping. Yeah, put a note <laughs> on it that says "From Jonas." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mister Count Chocula himself doesn't he look like that? <laughs> or that guy? No, it's a guy on a Sesame Street. Yeah, the Count. The uh, Count. The uh, count. Uh, one, uh, 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 two, uh, 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 three, uh, 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 uh. three hundred from Lenny from Yacht from three hundred dollars from the Delray Miss Fish Channel, all to me. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, God, thirty-six thousand a month, and you're saying that chump change, Brad? Six thousand. Where did you get six thousand? Thirty-six thousand a month. When we had that meeting, which we're not allowed to speak about, that he was had never that, 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 that he you're, was making you're throwing out, out, making, you're throwing out bullshit. He's making it a year, thirty six thousand a year for about five or six years straight, according no, to this, which I think it was double that. No, it was not that um, much a year. It wasn't that much a year. Yeah, I'll, I'll defend my hero to the end. Because I'm not. Def- I'm just saying that wasn't the number, though. That wasn't per year. It was higher. I don't know. <laughs> it was up there. Think, at least thirty six thousand. I think. I think you're wrong. I know. I was because it's, it's much higher. I think it was. I think it was. That was the total, not. No, not no, the whole, no, no, not no, every no, year. No, 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 no. That was every year. That was a different algorithm back then. Well, then go ask for proof. He showed. That's his proof. But your account, you're a pussy though, because you'll go. You'll go tell, complain to everybody else, but not directly to him. Well, that's, that's why the bullshit. Me. That's why the bullshit started because you went and cried to Lou, and then Lou went online and had to defend his Lenny, had, like his little floppy dog. Him. He's got you because you were too much because you were too much of a chicken shit to call Andrew yourself and say, "Hey, I want some fucking money," right? I had, I had no proof, so I put the pressure on him. The best one, uh, okay, because he okay. would have he could have talked me off. Okay. I didn't sign a contract with him. Actually, right. I'm lucky, lucky that I got something. I'm lucky. Correct. Least, Here you are. You've well, you had to spread right. a living chip. That's how you do it. I know. You well, call him, he'll, he'll build like he'll bullshit you right to your face. Well. And now he, he chickens out. <clears throat> some not there. But heaven forbid, he'll he'll put you, you on the spot, make a fool out of you, this and that, at his delight. But when it comes to him, you can't even say a word. Come on. Those days are over. I saw his true colors. Those for days him, are him over. And Jason, it's all about the money. Jason, do you actually think he's going to be out of a will? He can't be. It's illegal because he's part of, he has a guardianship. Dude, his, grandma, his grandmother can leave money to anybody she wants. He might not be getting a fucking dime. But Jason and his mother and his uncle are fucking grifters. They don't want to work for their own money. They're just depending on oh, they my, work. the grand, the grandmother's. I see them work. They work. 
dude, the money they make is fucking peanuts. They probably don't make 20 grand a year. Are you fucking kidding me? They're just, they don't. They never worked. A, they never worked a solid job, Lenny, because they always knew they had granny to fall back on. They're full yeah. of shit. Those type of people are fucking. In, go, go make Most your own. Money. Even if, even if you know or you think you're going to get an inheritance, fuck that. You don't know what's going to happen. What if that grandmother gets sick and for ten years she's got to go to a fucking nursing home and it drains all of her money and then guess what? She dies and you don't have shit. Go make your own money. The Legal guardians, your fucking life. Legal that's what guardians it is. have a claim to money. That's law. Look it up. Because my sister, my sister is under guardianship of my mother when she passes. Me and my brother are guardians of her. We signed the papers years ago. <clears throat> no, I understand that, but I'm just saying. Here, that's one of them. They're, they're depending yeah, he, on their. Because he, he's, he's, he's selfish. It's all about the money. Inst yeah, instead, instead of going. And making your own money and doing what you want, you're going to sit at home and say, oh, I got to get off the Internet because I won't get my, my inheritance. Well, how do you know you're going to get that inheritance? You don't know that. Go make your own fucking money. That's what well, I'm saying. Get back on the Internet. Jason should. I but told I'm, him that. I said, go, make saying, your, just... go make your own money. Why the, fu why the fuck are you depending on Granny's life savings when she could? be trained of her life savings if she got well, he's, he's being selfish and there's people that want to see him that brighten up their day and he's not doing it no because he wants to be a lazy fuck and just depend on an inheritance uh, i would never call jason lazy okay so what yeah, happens well, definitely, definitely what not happens, what happens with the delray misfit youtube channel now let brad answer that question let brad answer that question it's very interesting what? Why, why let me answer the question there there's not, it's not going anywhere it's just, it's just, tell me how man what you told me there's no content going to go up on it how many views does it have it's got i think close to eighty thousand subscribers he's going to let that sit it's just going to sit there yeah he's just going to let that sit well what do you want him to do well who's going to get the proceeds of uh, the views you know, it's continue, gonna, gonna continue to get views here and there, maybe subscribers. I don't there's, know. There's, there's residuals. Yeah. I mean, not, it, not much at this point, unless you get an influx of subscribers and views. But yeah, I, I mean, I don't know exactly, but I know a lot of the shit's demonetized from the past because it was never, none of the old language was edited out. We used to say whatever the fuck we wanted. You know that. So I think YouTube demonetized a lot of that shit. I don't know how you could look it up unless you have access, maybe. I don't think you can look it up if you don't have access to the channel, but I don't think it's so let's, let's, aban let's abandon the fans and let's go turn on Rob Zilla making up false claims that he ruined the Delray Misfits. And for all the hard work he's done, coming out here, picking me up, driving home, uploading videos, editing videos, making new content, plus training. Let's go make derogatory comments about it. Well, him. again, 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 they want to blame Rob Zilla because they don't like blaming Jay. All the shit started with Jay. When he orders 66, the uncle, then he went after me, then Kalora, then Lou, then you. Jay has gone after everybody. Jay, if Jay didn't do all that shit, if Jay didn't do all that shit, it would be, I guarantee you that this channel would still be going. We'd still be making content. Right, I, no don't I don't believe you that. I don't believe that. You don't believe that. You don't believe that. I do. I believe Rob it, went, yeah. Rob, The only reason why Rob went nuts the second time was because of fucking Jay's bullshit. And he gave Jay a taste of his own medicine. Right, but we're getting right. you know, you're missing the point. Some people okay. enjoy watching Jay do that to people, but to say that that's why nobody blames Jay. What do you mean nobody blames Jay? I bet you have, most people would. Yeah, they all blame Rob Zilla because he's, he's newer. No, that's not true. Okay, all right. I think there's another. We all know that we all know the fucking truth, Lenny. <laughs> Whatever uh, perception sometimes is reality. These people. They can make up whatever narrative they want, and some idiots will believe it. We know the fucking truth. But you see, what you know, Jay. Apparently, I was in. I started getting a bunch of phone calls. I say over over a hundred plus texts, and I'm just thinking, well, hey, where the, how come all these people are calling me? So somebody wrote on a text. Jay gave out your number. I'm thinking, what would you do that for? So going through the numbers, and I'll call for you once. Call for you on the we videotaped. You know, I received trips, come out and see us. I got six guys that want training clients. I mean, that's the best thing Jay ever did, uh, give my number out. The networking and such, 
Well, most of the people, right. most of the people are great. It's only a handful of dipshits that want to. But even the guys that wrote like a negative thing after one minute, they're, they're talking like, like very friendly and cordial. Of course, you'll get, I'll get nasty DMs and sometimes I'll respond to the people. They're like, I'm just breaking your balls, you know, but and that's yeah, fine. They want, a, they want attention. Right. But like I said, you have to ask yourself this question. Would you sit on a podcast with Jay Masters? No. Then you are wanting the misfits to break up. <laughs> I, don't have a, I don't have a problem with anybody sitting on a podcast. Never did. Rob, would you? Uh, Fool yeah. me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Jay Masters gets no third chance with me. Second chance, not fuck him. I don't even know. <laughs> he went over the lies, saw shit that he was saying in his private DMs because he has people that rat on him. He is a scumbag. I want nothing to do with him. Okay, well, bust but, that doesn't, but that doesn't but that doesn't mean you guys can't do shit with them. I don't care. I'm just not. That doesn't mean... Whatever happened to the term originated, Brad, busting balls. It's just He busting. wasn't, Lenny. The shit he did was malicious. It wasn't just breaking balls. Come what on. do you do? A thousand pizzas to Bradford Manor? What do you do? No, Lenny, please. <laughs> that, I wouldn't even give a shit about that. You know you that. You wanted to hit on your father? Back, I, went back and, I went back and forth with him for years, man. You... Did you not see some of the clips from his drunk lives, the shit that he was saying about me and my family? Fuck him. Exactly. Same. Fuck him. So Why should I do him any favors? And Talk about his, his family. Fucking channel? Fuck him. Is Fuck. anybody hurts that he... No, he wouldn't go near him. So what's the point? What's the big deal? What's the big deal? There's an old saying, Brad. It's called sticks and stones break bones. Names can't hurt you. Hey, so right. They don't hurt me, but don't talk about my family. Balls. I talked about Linda and he got upset. So, you right. know, it's your move, Jay. Give me, give me my number. I mean, do my address. Though. Maybe I'll get like a bunch of free pizzas or money. <laughs> no, they don't send free pizzas. They send pizzas okay, that aren't paid for. <laughs> well, they'll probably end up giving it. Give you some. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't deserve my friendship. He can fuck off. You know, I'm a good friend. Well, fuck you're him. Breaking up, according to them, you're breaking up some of the misfits because Jay was. Don't a care what them say. He did it. It was his Jay. choice. Jay. It was his choice. No, when we, we went over the line is when you physically harm somebody. Okay. Yikes. Like I said, there's millions of people. Rob, what are, you, Rob what, are you, what are you smoking on, Rob? I saw that puff. Nah, nothing. Not me, no. Smoking? I don't <laughs> Nope, not me. <laughs> uh... What do you yeah. say, Andrew? What do you think, Andrew? It's quiet. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know about the Fiedelman angle. You guys know more of the insides of, you know, than me. Uh, <laughs> the I, I, I get asked. The Fiedelman angle. We should have a podcast called the Fiedelman angle. <laughs> now, people, they do blame Rob. I don't know why. I mean, it's obvious to, from somebody like me looking in. It was Jay's a big culprit. And... And then you guys are all different geographic areas, so it's hard. I mean, you guys are living an hour apart, each of you, right now, at least. Yeah. Actually, so. actually, Lenny's closer to me than anybody. He's 25 minutes away. Where are you? Are you in the acreage? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And Lenny's in Lake Worth. Yeah, you yeah, guys. Brad invited me up once all year. Bullshit. I said you're always welcome. You know that. You shouldn't I'll, say that to me. I'll take response. I have said it to you. I don't care. You know that. I'll take responsibility for if I didn't react to Jay's dumb shit, there would have been a lot less drama. So I have to take responsibility for that. I mean, but that's part of, you know, uh, it's like, you know, uh, I, you guys understand. You def I yeah, you definitely, you definitely had a hand. You put the icing on the cake. But at the same time, if he didn't do what he did, you would not have done that. Right. It's cause and effect. Yeah, it's but nobody's so at simple. the end of the day, nobody's hurt. You got to laugh it off. I mean, he hit Jay harder than he thought he would ever get hit. It's like war games. Jay fires a shot, and Robzilla fired back, and his, his shot did some serious damage. Of course, I don't, I don't, I don't think he did anything. Jay does. Like, he pulls, like, it's one thing, like, bashing us personally, but I've seen posting personal information that he really shouldn't go. I mean, yeah, he's not physically harming, but just revealing shit that just doesn't need to be revealed and stuff. Good. You do I that about your mother. 
<laughs> his old his old mother. Talk about Linda or make some jingles about him. Like last I saw him <laughs> telling people, uh, I don't even go to a church here, but find out what church I go to and tell the pastor I'm a homosexual and find out where I work. <laughs> like I'd really be pissed if my parents started getting calls or my job, and then I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be. Exactly, thank that. you. Exactly, man. That's so, fucking yeah. ridiculous. Why the fuck but, would you want to be associated with that asshole at that No, point? I mean, that's, yeah, he could say whatever he wants. It's usually I'm a homosexual. I've heard it all 10 times over. It doesn't bother me. But, <laughs> I mean, I don't, you know, and then disabled relatives, eh, that would kind of piss me off. But giving out personal information, phone numbers and things like that, and I mean, the first thing he said when I saw him, when I met him at Lou's party, because I was going to film him, put him, on, put him on Instagram, was 2018. Oh, don't film my truck. They'll get my plates. The trolls will get all my information. Yet he goes right. and does it to everybody else. But he's admitted. I've heard him say, oh, I, I can't take. I'll admit that. I can, I can give all day. But the moment you fire back, like Lenny says, that's, that's his weak spot. That's what, that's what makes it so fun. Funny. Yeah. With him. Which is fine. But again, I just, the, the power to stop me. Refusing yeah. to fight someone when an offer was made ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, come on. He's his own worst enemy. You know, it's good to have fun. Me to beat him around a little bit, like a, like a tennis ball. But to sit there and say, "Oh, he's I he drew across the line," then you're a weak individual if you say that. You should never let anybody get you to the point. I mean, what are those like the Shaolin religions and a lot of those Eastern type philosophies? You never, ever let anybody get you mad for any reason, ever. It's just those weak I characters. Think, I, I think in that situation, Lenny, I, by theory, you're right, but we're not in Brad's. We're not don't, in kiss, Brad's. Don't, don't kiss his ass. You know he's wrong. <clears throat> you're, you're entitled to get mad at things. Some shit's going to piss you off, especially when you consider somebody your friend and then they go act like that. All right, Brad, you're, you're, all, you're all good and pissed off. What did you do about it? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm you not didn't pissed. Do I live jack, my, I live you my didn't life. do jack shit. Right. Rob did, Rob, did, Rob did all the no. shit that I wanted to fucking do. <laughs> you wanted to, but you talked about it, but you didn't. Right. What am I going to do? What can there I do? Was no, there can I was do? No, nothing you could do. What is it? What, what can I do? Beat the guy up? Kill the guy? Beautiful. If my father, or somebody did it like to him, he would find where that person is that he suspected, get some guys together, and lay into him. Okay, that's before never... that. That's before there was cameras everywhere and lawyers all too happy. Well, there okay. is a camera everywhere. It's called God. Oh fuck! There's an eternal camera. Oh that's please! It doesn't forget. Oh please! You're so full of shit. You are. Okay. <laughs> Put the damper on things. We try to make this, you know, funny and entertaining, and that that's what it kind of is for everybody. That us and the viewers is kind of an escape from our reality. It's kind of like a, a comedic outlet. And when he starts doing shit like that, well, he inserts bullshit drama for no reason because it could be fun without all that nonsense. I guess what I'm trying to say is the difference is when we insult him, we're we're, we're trying to make it funny at least, like. Bedroom blubber boy, it's shit like like that. How, how, how can you take that serious? But his way to go after somebody is, oh, call this person's parents and tell them this. It's like that's not. You, I don't know. There's no low he won't go to. Right. And you can't no, kill that's him. That's not true. He you won't go. He won't go. He's not going to go near anybody's family, anybody's kids. In ever. person, right? Like, in person, He's just right? All talk. Of course, of course, he is. So don't get. He, he the, wants other people. He, ruffle he your feathers. He right. convinces other people to do his fucking dirty work. He's a coward. What, He's what a pussy. We all know what, that. What dirty work? You know what I'm saying? His the no, trolling and the doxing shit. Ooh, the dog. Will you please tell me what that means? Because I swear I do. Lenny, not know Lenny, it doesn't matter to you because you're, you we're used to that shit. But our family members that have no idea about any of this shit, it does matter to them. Who the fuck wants to be called in the middle of the night? Who the fuck wants to be harassed on their social media, not turn knowing anything about off. it? Turn the Who phone the fuck off. Who needs that? We don't care because it's not. Turn, we turn know the phone shit. off. Turn the phone off. Like okay. I do. That? Wait, wait till they find your mom's real name and where she works, and they call her business, and let's see how let's see how nice that'll be for her. No, you know my brother, and my uncle. So I didn't hear anything. Yeah. Okay. It. Okay. I'm them. just saying. 
If it happened to your mom, you wouldn't, or your sister, your brother, your all them, you wouldn't be so fucking happy they, either. They called my sister a retard. Actually, you wouldn't give a shit because you're a fucking psycho. No, because I'm not a weak-minded individual. No, because and you I'm don't a, give a I'm shit a, about anybody a, else but yourself. I'm a God-fearing, God-believing man with balls. Oh, I mean, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. Go fuck yourself. No, Thank everyone God. wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to suffer. <laughs> like Jesus did on the cross. They don't want to pay the price. They want to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Some people's definition of fun is a little different. Of course, a believer and a non-believer. Like getting shot, like getting shotgun. Crack believers are like those people that went to the trap. Come on, you filthy crack horse! You it's all about that crack smoking. It's right all now. about party, and it's all about sex. It's That's all you, about fucking abortion. So I don't have to take care of the kids. You're I'm a hypocrite. Fine. You're a hypocrite. You're a hundred no, percent hypocrite. I, I fell down the wrong path, and I admit it. No, somebody asked me on the live I did a week or two ago, which of the misfits they, they, that I think was living the best life. And I'm like, that's subjective. I mean, Brad yeah. likes traveling, drinking, doing what he does. <laughs> uh, Prince Andrew went up to Aruba or whatever. Uh, like Lenny and me at our core, if, as long as we get train, eat and sleep, we're happy. I mean, there may be extracurricular stuff, but I was like, I'm, you know, people, and then somebody said something like, oh, I'm a lo I failed miserably at life or something. I'm like, what's your definition of winning at life then? I'm like, I'm content. I can do what I want. I'm bummed out about my knee. I was supposed to have surgery last week. It got canceled. So now it's next week. So for me, being happy, is, I haven't squatted in eight weeks. When I'm able to squat again and run sprints, I'm going to be genuinely happy inside again. People might think I'm a nut job for saying that, but I'm not. I'm telling the God's honest truth. And let right. his name, you know. So it's different, it's different, it's different for everybody, but you see how social media is and how, you know, these kids get so easily influenced by material things. Oh yeah. The they're weak and their, their parents are weak. Right. Their yeah. parents don't tell them. And you know what, you, what are, what are possessions anyway? That comes from the devil showing off that showing off things like that, showing off tattoos. Come on, that didn't come from God. <laughs> you can't right? take any of that shit with you when you're gone. So exactly, you're not you're not going to see a U-Haul dragging uh, a Hertz dragging a U-Haul ever taking possessions. You ain't going to take them with you wherever you're going. So, but it's whatever makes you happy. Like you like cats, okay? So you have some cats. Hey, that makes you that's happy. What, that's Aleister Crowley saying, the famous Satanist. What it wilt do what thou wilt, which means do what makes you happy. That is the anthem of the Satanist. I just saw that today somewhere too. A quote: "Do what thou wilt." Okay, so do what, what makes, makes you miserable. You do what makes you miserable. Do what makes you miserable. Hey, and not being made, able to leave the house for what weeks. What made Jeffrey Dahmer happy? <laughs> he was happy. <laughs> what does Brad quote at the end? The Alistair Crowley, he the guy used to eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. You, 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 see, you have to you eat up somebody's shit. Like, I bet you've eaten more shit than him, you pig. No, I haven't. <laughs> and you're the one, only girls use the word poop. I see you use that in a text, too. Oof. I have to go poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but take it from a guy that's old. Yes, you, you do. Like a big brother, that we have a creator. It's obvious to say the atheists like to say, "You have to prove it." I says, "No, I don't. It's already been proven. Look at the sky around you, the trees, the landscape, the thousands and thousands and thousands of planets. There is a creator, and for anybody to say otherwise, like a couple of you clowns have said on the podcast, is probably the most." And name things I've ever heard in my life. And if I have to name more names, I will. And that's I a fair think, way. Aaron. Yeah, you haven't you haven't said somebody who shall remain nameless once, I don't think. Check I hope somebody checks that. I don't think you guys have said for someone who will remain nameless. I'm proud no, of you. Guys. I decide to let it loose. It's about fucking time you name names and point I fingers. I decide to fucking. let it loose. Good. Let it loose. Because you're on fucking death's door. 
Well, your phone's going to be on death's door for being blown <laughs> up with texts and phone calls. From uh, 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 he won't be going that anymore. Nah, he doesn't give a she doesn't pay attention to any of this shit anymore. He's oh, done. Shit. I haven't spoken to him. I haven't spoken to Andrew in weeks. He wants to. He's done, he's finished, dude. He's moving on. He's that's it. so he he, he said so we were his friends, and all of a sudden you just I'm finished with you. I, I just who does that? Again, I'm not talking about the podcast, but his friends in general. Who does that? I'll tell you who does it. Leo Rex. That's another one. Another Fugazi Absolutely. who makes a whole YouTube video of how loyal he is. Meanwhile, he, he cut us off completely for what? Just because you had Amin on to give his his side of the story? I yeah. mean, come on. These I don't people. Know. He still talks to me. So I feel like if, if that was what was angering him, he wouldn't talk to me if that was the case. I don't know. Wow. Maybe try reaching out to him again. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. The cat's out of the bag because somebody already took a clip of me <laughs> saying how <laughs> fraud he was. It's all over Instagram now. They sent it to Leo. So, What is it? Spilling the beans and the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll admit this. My father father was one. He just gave up on his family out of, out of nowhere like that. I know what it is. I know what it's like for no good reason. Just give up gone don't exist anymore well there's reasons but probably not justified in your mind no absolutely not right there's always a reason well, for shit. Lenny, Lenny sees the bigger picture and I understand that it's like uh, the, there's thousands and thousands of people that are affected by you know what he can put out on the YouTube or with the podcast so whether there's monetary but Behind it I, or not. I, under, I, under, I understand that too, but he doesn't owe anything to any any of the fans. I mean, there's free content for fucking yeah. 10 years. There's plenty of I mean, podcasts. As, as human beings, we owe a bit of ourselves to everyone. Exactly. Because I, yeah. I love everyone. That's why we're here. That's, well, you're that's di you're different. I, that's the point I'm making is yeah, that I, I cookie think, cutter. I try not to be a cookie cutter, at least. It should be natural for us to want to provide things for other people. Uh, you know, and, and even if it's just something like this entertainment value, if you have the opportunity to like to do that, I I can't see not doing it. But no, I I I, I agree. And there's times where I'm like, oh, I don't do this shit anymore either. But then you get messages like, Hey, you guys saved my life. I watch your videos, and it got me out of a deep dark hole. I've gotten tons of those messages, and it makes me want to do it more. That's the that's the shit that you know keeps you going. Well, that's why I reached out to everybody because, like I sent Lenny a screenshot. He did a book cameo for some guy's dad. It was like a police chief, and the guy like was really yeah. He messaged, he messaged me too. Yeah. That's priceless that we're able to help. Yeah, it was a like fire that. chief, it was Palm Beach County fire chief retired. Yeah, he broke his leg. Yeah, I just did it. Uh, yeah, um, you know, Amin and Leo both said that's how you affect others on this earth. I mean, we can't do anything alone. I'm, I'm preaching. I don't think Meow Man's ever preachy with that religious stuff. But you know, you just got to look at the Creator and stuff. And it <clears throat> you're just giving your own, you're just giving your own opinion and viewpoint and what you believe. That doesn't mean you're telling everybody no, else no, what no, they need to believe. That's that's not a question of debate. That is obvious that there's a Creator. I'm not Every, talking religion. Everything is everything is debatable, Lenny. Not Let's, that. That's without debate, without reproach. Okay. I guarantee you know I, it. You know what I think it is, Leonard? I think for people yeah. to ultimately become believers in something higher, that they have to be put in a situation where there's no logical way out. Like, yeah. it, like it seems like there's no, no you way. You know, you're right, Rob. Right. And, and for some people, that's a very terrifying way to go. But I wanted to try to spare the, uh, Brad that expense. Right, right, yeah. What's that? What do you mean, spare well, words? If you would just simply said, yeah, if you would get down on your knees right now and say, say whatever, God, creator, I don't see you. I'll get down, I'll get down on my knees right now if Taco comes in here and bends over and shows me that little <laughs> balloon knot. <laughs> <laughs> What's that balloon oh, knot? By, oh, by the way, uh, by the way, we got butcher, butchered yesterday. He got neutered yesterday. Poor uh, fucker. Yeah. Hi. Had to do it. 
He's almost a year old. He's just. Why you think he would knock up the ninja? No, she's fixed too. Oh. You could have started like a you could have started breeding dogs, making making uh, like dick with uh, oh, yeah. dick. Thanks. No, I don't want to do that. That's a pain in the ass. And you're fixed too. What are you going to spay the taco queen? He <laughs> doesn't need to be. I'm fixed. What is everybody that lives there got to get their balls cut off? <laughs> Actually, they take the dog's testicles out. They castrate them. Oh man. You still so, Len, so Lenny, 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 you have no more competition for the dog balls. His are smaller. <laughs> What about all those cats in your yard, Brad? Are they still coming into your yard from your neighbor or wherever? Oh, yeah. They love it back there, man. There's fucking – there's three to four of them now. Do the dogs chase them? No, I don't, I'm not, I don't let them out when they're out there. They just stand at the window and bark at them. Uh, and the cats don't move. They just sit there like, come on, fuckers. Come on I've out seen here. dogs come up on little cats and cats just claw in the face. Cat, cats will fuck them up, man. Especially outside cats that are used to hunting and getting if shit they on their own. Be, they could fuck us up too. I always, my dad. I've, said, I've, I've taken them out there once while they're out there, and I didn't notice, and they started running out, and the cats just took off. But if they got close enough, you snuck up on. But you're not sneaking up on a cat. Mm. You know that, meow man. <laughs> yeah, last night I was watching the video, uh, Bronx in the Bronx, the Yankee Stadium. A cat got on the field. And they were chasing it around, and the whole crowd was cheering. They couldn't catch it. Finally, it went through some little trap door. But uh, it was a cute cat, too, but it was so fast, and there was no way they're going to catch it and wrangle the thing up. And they were scared as shit of it, too. It was a little cat, probably like 10 pounds. But, yeah, you can't. I, can't you can't. I don't know how it got in there. Yeah, it was around the field. To be able to conserve their energy to perfectly, with a minimal effort, get out of a situation, I noticed. Oh, yeah. They never yeah, go there's... above and beyond. They're so smart and precise. Yeah, yeah Ethel, every time I, I get to meet Lenny's cat because every time I come in, she's scurrying up the stairs. Very rude cat. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Very fat, too. Fat house whatever, cat. She eats whatever I eat. It comes up for sc everything. Scrambled eggs and cheese. I have fish tonight, chicken, steak, you name it. So you can pretty much give cats anything? No, I don't think you can. No, my, my won't eat table food. My mom's, mom and dad's cat eats like mooches at the table and they give it table food. Mine doesn't like any table food, really. <clears throat> so um, what do you guys think? You think uh, we can make this like a, a, a weekly or more often Thing. I think that this is kind of what everybody uh, wanted right now, you know, especially to hear from you two. Yeah, for sure. Until until I get the podcast studio set up in my garage, because everybody thinks that's what I'm doing now, because I said maybe. You yeah. can't say maybe to anybody, because they take it as definitely. Well, but I said because I'm gonna I'm gonna take all that gym equipment and put it in the main garage, and then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make that a room, close it off, put air conditioning in there. Yeah, we could probably do something once I get that done. But I need help. You, doing you know it. how to operate the podcast equipment? Yeah. Uh, and um, we could get we could possibly get newer shit, set up cameras, do it. And then we know. get meow man. We, we don't just have we, them on Zoom. We still. Won't, yeah, we we won't do it half fast. I've, I've already talked. McCuck and Nate both said they would help out setting up shit. So you see how Jay got on Nate trying to. Uh, laugh at his supposed with misfortune, but turns out Nate looked, looked like he might have got an upgrade. Yeah, well, Nate handles Jay, the shit the best. Jay he just is the first, it. first one to, to laugh at somebody's misfortune. He needs some help. He's a I miserable... Like the old saying, misery loves company. There you go. He's very miserable. I'd like to reach out to him, but... You know, we always, I always got along good with him. You know, it's a couple of times. Of course, he always does it far away, so far away, never in your face. Of course. He's like that little kid in the neighborhood that'll talk shit to you when he's down the street right in front of his house. But when you're face to face, eh, you know. Yeah. Is uh, McLeod secretly training for a rematch with him or what? I see him, he's at the performance center. McLeod I don't know what training. he's doing. I, th I think he's just trying to get into shape. I don't know. Is this. Did you see him buying all the coming up, loading his car up with those protein powders and stuff? 
Uh, yeah. Like trying to, then he shows this meal, always a steak with broccoli, no carbs. Who's he trying to impress? He had tubs of protein. They just show his fat forearms grabbing these proteins out off the shelf and then oh, looking into his car. Did well, he I get think, his, uh, his health situation squared away? What did he had some? I don't know. I, some some fucking weird cancer, but I think he I think it's in remission now or whatever he's done with chemo. So I guess you know he's trying to lose a few pounds. Bottle of testosterone. That's the best thing for him right now. But yeah, you know what? He probably should. He doesn't take anything, does he? I never probably asked. Him. Good. Good. Lord, his, level, look at him. his levels were like uh, like six hundred though. Uh, yeah, I don't get. Never, I don't get. I don't get. Never hurting himself. I don't get the. Pres- I don't get prescribed testosterone unless it's under eight hundred. Wow. Yeah. It's got to be under eight hundred, and then the insurance will approve it. Wow. Your total testosterone? Yeah. Huh. Well, how does that make sense? Because if you're on replacement, it's obviously not going to be eight hundred. Well, that's why you don't take a shot for a week before you go. And then before you go, instead of doing it fasted, you eat a meal before you go and it drops it. Okay. So this is something you you continuously have to do, or this was just to get the... It's once uh, once a year. Just once a year, I got to get it tested. That's weird. Brad, you're such a smart, great guy, kind. You're loyal. (laughs) You've always helped out. You've always looked up for others. If you just... Just go and get on your knees and say, God, I know you're there. <laughs> that's all That's all I want you to do. It's because it bugs me. It keeps me up at night. It really does. Is that what you say when that, when that, that big black dude is about to shove his cock in your mouth? Oh, uh, please. God, I, I know there's a God. Oh, give, it to me, give it to me, Vera. <laughs> Piss in my mouth, Vera. <laughs> Brad, looking back, that was all. Knowing you, knowing you, and you, there is no, no Brad, listen, that's all substance induced. I know, I know. Every single bit of that. I, I never did that sober. That's of course not. How, if you did it sober, you'd be really fucked up. I mean, yeah. It's, that's where we get the word pharmaceuticals from. The Greek, from the Old Testament, says uh, pharmakia, witchcraft, drugs. It's all interconnected, oh, yeah. Brad. Yeah, no, I believe I that. Yeah. Why yeah, do you think all these people that go on these trips from uh, L- microdose and LSD or the whatever it is they take? Uh, what's the ayahuasca? Uh, yeah, like stuff like that. They all come out believing in a higher power, but it, you know what is that higher power? Yeah. What did I see when I got fucked up in Ibogaine? Demons, yeah. flat out demons, with my eyes closed or open for six hours straight. Uh, I would have went out of my mind. I, I, Next to that disgusting Chris Bell documentary in the bed beside me, taking eight showers, flooding out the bathroom, and then screaming at a mean, says he wants more. He got a double dose, says he wants more. And then when he left the room, a mean said, this motherfucker just wants to get high. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bigger, faster, stronger... <laughs> Was that him or his brother that was there? That was the, the filmmaker, Chris. Huh. Not Mark, Chris, the one that's... Yeah, he uh, was, and then he, he said he didn't want to post any of that footage with him being seen with a mean because he accused a mean of being high the whole time or some fucking thing. They were both fucking high the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the one we met in Vegas that gave us the, uh, the Kratom? That was Mark. 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 No, no, that was Chris. We didn't that's meet Chris. Mark. That was Chris. Yeah, that was. Yeah. And then, because that's what he was really doing. Horrible. But he thought he was a shit. Let me tell you. Because I, I kept saying, when we're laying there waiting for the stuff to kid, I says, hey, hey, Chris, say that thing you did in the movie where you said, here they are, the power team. <laughs> and he kept getting pissed off. I said, say it again, please. <laughs> Oh, like he's a fucking big deal because he made one, you know, a couple good documentaries. Now, now you can't. Now you're too cool to talk to an average person. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you know, Lenny. You, I don't think you remember this, but I, I, you called me or I called you that night when you were with him. Do you remember that? Well, I don't remember. 
Yeah, and you were going wild, and you were saying, Chris, Chris. Oh, yes, I do. I remember. Yeah, yeah, okay. Saying, Chris, what's the sweetest part of an Oreo yeah, cookie yeah. in the middle? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> he tells me, you know, my mom just died last weekend. I'm like, oh, shit. I was going to say, how oh, fucking, what the fuck was she eating? Uh, <laughs> Everything was talking about junk food with her. I got and then he goes, oh, she, she just passed away. I was like, oh, shit. Uh that's what Brad was told as a kid. What? Brad's depressed. So his mom pulled him aside and said, you know what, Brad? Don't be mad. You're the middle child. You know what the sweetest part of an Oreo cookie is? The middle. <laughs> <laughs> Brad got a big smile on his face. Oh, is that, what, is that what you were referencing? That's what his mother said to him? Yeah. Because yeah. uh, she was no, saying, I never, I, you need I, to- luckily... Luckily, I never dealt with that shit, depression, why would you, anxiety. Why would you gotta... take those drugs? Aren't you good enough? Aren't what are you talking <laughs> about? What are you when talking about? Like, when he told his parents he was doing juice. Uh, said, why do you need that? Don't you think you're good enough? It's like, what the fuck? Mother shouldn't be telling you that shit anyway. What about improving yourself? I mean, look what they did for Meow Man. You know, even if all that stuff in the past is helping him now, with that muscle memory and muscle maturity that he's going to have for life. And he's not suffering any side effects because he's not doing it, but he's still carrying more rip mass than anybody. I just so side effects. You got the heart, the plaque on the heart and shit. I don't yeah. think well. that's a genetic problem with him. Most likely. Yeah. I mean, a combination of things, but, but I, I believe you- that, uh, Anti-aromatase like the Rimidex and Letrozole and all that crap has did the worst damage. That's I right. try to avoid those if possible. Power lifters, you see those power lifters and strongmen are still alive. Yeah, they don't need that shit. Bodybuilders drop like flies because some of those guys are addicted. They like to be ripped all the time. Yeah, my lipids were the worst a month before I did that show and two years ago I went for blood work because I was on Rimidex. I was on uh, I think Mastron Winstrel. And I was eating low carb, doing an hour of cardio, and my cholesterol was horrible. So it goes to no show you. Yeah. Did you always have bad? Did you always have bad cholesterol or no? Not when I was off everything, it was fine, it was normal. But when I was on and the rad one forty really killed my lipids too. So I don't know what that is. But I mean a little bit of test and deca, it wasn't too bad, but it's when I, you know, it was pre contest mode, because you're taking Winstrol, Trend Master on, and then the anti estrogen stuff. You're going to have bad numbers. I don't care who you are. Right. And then I'm genetically predisposed because it runs in the family. But so, hey, I'm still able to lift. I don't have any, you know, symptoms. But I'll I'll probably run into problems down the road if I live long enough. But who the hell knows how I'm going to leave this earth. So who the hell wants to live long enough? I couldn't imagine 20 years. If I had Brad's pension, maybe I'd want to stick around a little longer. (laughs) I'm going to be grinding. Yeah, but I I mean, die. do you want to live? Do you want to live to the point where you have somebody else wipe your ass or cook for you? Fuck oh, that, yeah. Fuck Hell that. yeah! A nice Hell thick yeah! Right. yeah I forgot Jama- who I'm talking to. <laughs> a nice thick young Jamaican can cook for me. Well, that's exact, and that's more likely what it'll be down here. That or a big and, a, and ab- abuse me and smack me around too. <laughs> that's the life for you. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying. Being in a walker or a wheelchair and just the uh... no thanks. Rob, do you want to live a long life? into your 80s 90s of course yeah of course right I agree, you know? with Brad's saying. I agree with what brad's saying or if you're really suffering and yeah what the hell's the point yeah but there's no choice you know, so what live as long as you can man i don't know <laughs> i mean if you got kids and grandkids at that point but if you don't I mean, really, uh, I don't know. Yeah, but look at look at the people that suffer from dementia, Alzheimer's. That, there's no quality of life there, man. That's fucking awful. Well, in most cases, they, they brought them on their own self. They haven't eaten any eggs or anything. And protein. Oh, please. That's, said, that's the reason on. people get it. Not because no, of that's, but that's not, but, but I'm You're just saying that's, that's, that's no quality of life. I mean, I you, you know, the rest of your family still, suffers. You, I still believe malnutrition is the cause of... 90% of the health problems in this country, even today, with all the... Oh, I don't... Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Stop drinking water, old people, and no eggs. Lenny, you just need to just 
tough up, toughen up and follow the Bill Gates diet. No meat. Good Lord. Look at that physique on him. <laughs> Trying to say he can't hire a personal trainer and a chef to make sure he gets trained. <laughs> that guy is completely warped. He's a disgusting human being. And he's into he's had sex with many children. He's had unspeakable things. I know that for a fact. Well, his wife, his wife just divorced him, right? She probably fa- found out some creepy shit on him. And she knows damn well. She leaks one of it. Her head's going to be blown off. <laughs> yeah. She knows that, too. Don't fuck with him. Well, what does she need? To? She doesn't need the money. She's got plenty of it. Nobody can offer what she, well, nobody you know, can offer anything. 99% of those child molesters are atheists. That's a fact. I saw that the other day. Number two. Oh Here we go. Those super rich and elite believe it's their right to do whatever they want. Do without wilt. Do without wilt, which is also means whatever makes you happy, do it. So it's plain and simple. That is the worst thing because they illegitimize sin or they legitimize sin and abomination. That's the worst thing. When I was doing those disgusting things down there with those things, not once did I say that was good or beneficial. I said it was disgusting, but I had a compelling urge to do it because I was on a, like Andrew said, a pharmacopoeia. And Rob, Rob knows it too. He saw me on that stuff. He saw me without it. It's like night and day. Yeah, you go into a frenzy. But it's all related. Like Andrew said with the pharma, pharmacia, when you take that stuff, you're opening your, yourself up to, you know, different spirits to come in. So... I'm so glad Andrew said that because I never heard that before. Yeah. Well, that's why, guys, it's like admirable. Like Valentino doesn't do any wreck drugs. He says he never had. And uh, Trump, Donald Trump, I don't think drinks, doesn't do any. A lot of impressive guys don't drink. I think we lost the meow, man. But it's funny now, instead of a church on every corner, like when I was a kid, there's a CVS and a Walgreens. On every that's corner. right. And a bank. And a gas station. <laughs> Who runs this country, buddy? There should have been flying cars, flying electric cars. And I keep showing you proof. You're going to give me a, an apology on that, Brad, right? Yeah, they'll probably make one, but not everybody's going to have one. You can't. Telephone poles, houses crashed into. Come on. Brad, you have cars that drive by themselves. Why are they going to crash into a tough one? Like, same technology. What are you talking car. about? It's flying they have around. Right? Self driving cars now. They, they're trying to say, won't people do that with a flying car? They're not running no. anything. No. Would you get into a car and let it drive you? No. Well, they're safer. They don't. Isn't that what um, the guy from Tesla, uh, what's his name? Elon Musk is in any building like so? No, they, they, have, they, have, they have self, the Teslas are self-driving, some of them. I don't trust any of that. No, <laughs> fuck no, man. You can fall asleep. That'd be great. Take a trip to a uh, long drive and. Come up to see Andrew. We could, me and Rob can sleep in the car. I take some GHB as soon as we get in. <laughs> you know what I was, you, Andrew you know what? has to wake us up. Perfect time to get into uh, becoming a pilot because pretty soon when they take that technology over to planes, all the pilot's going to have to do is press a button and just make sure everything's like, you know, just babysit yeah. it. Not have to do yeah. much effort at all. I, sure. think they're, I think they're pretty close to that already, though. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I think pilots pilots already do a lot less than they used to have to. Right, right. And pretty soon they're going to have underground shoots. You can put all the mail in packages. I said that. They're going to come from an Amazon warehouse. <laughs> yeah, well. Do. well, again, this if they can't fail, they can, I, I'll, I'll be, they, they can probably do all that shit, but they need to fix the roads and the fucking telephone poles and the power lines first. They can if they want to right now. Of course they could, but they don't like want to tires. spend the money. The technology was there to make a tire that could last 10 years, but they don't want to. Correct. You think they, you, know, you know they can make these phones last longer than they fucking do. They can make cars yeah, last longer stupid. than they do. But why the would they do that? There's no, you're not going to have to buy another one if it's going to last now forever. Everybody usually has an old cast iron grill or a pan from back in the 20s or almost 100 years ago. Every family usually has one. They're still working good because things were built to last. Yeah. Yeah, my mom and dad have a lot of cookware they got from like the fifties or sixties. Still works great. 
Yeah. 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 Good on. Yeah, my mother. My mother has a bunch of old shit too. She still uses it. Works fine. Yeah. That's not only you know I'm a capitalist, but there's definitely been abuse in the capitalistic system. Oh, a hundred percent. Poorly made goods. Yep. All right, guys. All right, right Brad. Wrap this up. I'm going to pray for you tonight. That's one thing. And if Thank I say you. anything. I'll pray, for, I'll pray for you too. And if I I'm said gonna pray, anything. I'm going to pray for your shins and your gut. Okay. Please, God, right. fix one of your shins. I didn't go into a coma yet. So, and all these doctors said you can't go off insulin. Well, here I am, 10 days. You can go into a coma from that. Well, guess what? I'm still here. What do you keep, what, what are you doing with the camera? Would you put it on the bed? Yeah. But yeah, let's, we could. Uh, if you guys, yeah, you guys want to do the podcast at Brad's and actually have like physical guests there. But if you want to do this with me, we could do it once a week or every two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Even, or when we're with Brad, we can have you on feed. Yeah. If you figure out something to do with that once he gets to go to his place. Yeah. Uh, and of course, we'll do, we'll do that. It's going to take, gonna take a little bit of time. Like I said, I need, I need, first of all, I need help to get it done. And then I got to do, I'm going to put tile in there. I got to close off the, the breezeway between the garage and the room and I put air conditioning in there. It's going to take a little bit of time, but yeah. it's going to be nice. A nice little, where you can really think instead of being you know, under this pressure with so-and-so you got to watch what you say. Yeah. You have to watch. Well, Brad, as long as you take up the New York post updates, oh, for- cause they've been missing those. So get your subscription. And you can read an article every week, Lenny. Listen to this. According to the New York Post. (laughs) (laughs) All right, guys. All right. You can call me tomorrow. um, If you call me tomorrow, yeah, for sure. Call me tomorrow. All right. Make my comeback. The bloodletting. What 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 are you guys doing Saturday? Saturday evening. Nothing in particular. Do Do you do you train on Saturdays? No. He would. Yeah. If you were getting well, I'm gonna train Saturday earlier. That's for sure. I got to make up. I got to get back into it here. Yeah, I don't get off till you know. I don't get home till probably six anyway. But we'll talk about it. Yeah, definitely. All right, Meow Man. Thanks for the correlation between pharmacopoeia and witchcraft. (laughs) That's why I'm here. (laughs) Great. All right, guys. Thanks. We'll talk. Learned learned a lot from Lee Priest, didn't we? At that time, remember that fiasco. Uh, so I asked Robert Kennedy, <laughs> what do you think about this Fua guy? Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know he wishes, you know, he wishes he wasn't in Australia right now. What they locked him down again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck place is a joke. Yeah. Well, it's coming. The gyms are closing soon everywhere. I said it. We're gonna Come have to get up because I know three or four in the area. And Dale's up in Carolina it never closes. So if they close down there, come on up. We'll go train. Great. You got I'll have to, have to keep my good graces with Brad. <laughs> You'll be banned too, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, for pissing for my bladders. He's torturing me. I got bladder problems. And he said, you piss on my driveway. You're never coming here again, boy. That's right. You can Because you can walk 10 feet and piss in the yard. I piss in the yard. The dog's <laughs> piss in the yard. Piss in the yard. You That's it. That's a true trailer uh, well, philosophy. When I'm, when I'm out cutting piss the grass the and I'm filthy, dirty, I could piss in the yard. It doesn't matter. The dogs piss out there. You don't piss in someone's driveway. That is disrespectful. You ought to be pissing in the yard and a cop will call, give him a ticket and he'll be on a sexual predator's list for the rest of his life. I'm on my property. Okay. All right. <laughs> See you later. All right. All right. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.